All right, what's up everyone? Is Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's live stream, I will be playing with the Chimera. Yes, a tier a What is this? Me playing a tier 8 now. First the Smasher, now the Chimera. What has happened to His Royal Finest? I don't know. Uh, in truth, I have a few reasons why I'm playing the Chimera today. One, it was recently sold on an auction, so a lot of people have purchased this vehicle recently. Um, secondly, it's just a really good tank, so why not? I'm sure a lot of people would like it. And finally, uh, I can't always stream tier 10 because I would uh, run out of stream options and grow right re quite redundant. Bobby is with us today, so that is some good news. So I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to today's stream. Make sure to smash that like button to show support to the channel. I'm glad to see you guys. Uh, Yulong, Overlord, Kura. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Jack, Buzzy, Sensor. How's it going? Lewis, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone in the chat. Salutations. All right. Uh, also, I, uh, uh, as requested, I made channel memberships over the weekend. So uh, for those of you who'd like to support the channel, get a cool little badge next to your name in the chat and uh, you get access to the stickers I'm going to post right now. So yeah, yeah, epic stickers. Um, if you are interested, then uh, feel free to show support to the channel. Chris Johnson, CJ War Monkey, what's up? Joking Wizard, what's up, what's up, what's up, boys? What's up? Hope you guys are doing well. Can you explain us about your equipment, HRF? Um, this is what I'm running, for those of you who are curious. This is what I run on the Chimera. It is uh, a pretty simplistic, my kind of standard go-to loadout when I don't really care too much. I do run Rammer because AP and APCR barely get a penetration buff, so I'd rather just run Rammer for the increased DPM. Uh, I also run... Enhanced sandbag armor for a little bit extra hit points, but I still run double food to increase the gun handling and everything. So, yes. Okay. Anyways, Chimera time. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. Uh, I got this thing a little while back and I was uh, sweating in it for trying to get 100% win at 100 games. Didn't quite work out, but we got pretty good. 92% uh, win at 62 battles, 20 on average. So I have played a fair few games in this tank. I'm not a complete novice in the Chimera, as it turns out. Uh, it is a pretty... A pretty strong tank, to say the least. It is quite um, interesting with 440 alpha damage, decent mobility, um, trollish frontal armor. There really isn't anything you should complain about on this vehicle, and that's why I I, I personally think it is the best tier 8 medium tank. Of course, a lot of people would also argue for the Progetto 46. Very valid argument. It just goes by whichever tank I find more enjoyable. The Chimera is just much more unique and still extremely strong, which is why I rate it as my best tier 8 medium tank. Oh, Daniel, thank you so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate the support. Thank you very much. All right. Well, guys, I have left you waiting for long enough. I think we should jump into some epic games with the camera. Think Fan is sweating in an OP tank, right? Could you imagine? Oh, wake me up before you, Jojo. Also, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. Venice, I'm so happy you are alive right now. I have such a stressful day in school. I had two tests in chem and trig. Ooh. Nuz, that sounds awful. Well, I hope this stream brings you lots of joy and relaxation after a stressful day. Hopefully it went well. Hey, Helmy, how's it going? Fans gonna be opening the camera. Yes, time to get sweaty. Indeed, we're gonna have fun. Also, we have Bobby with us, so what, what could go wrong? Okay, yo, fatness. Oh, I left chat on. Oh, well, I'll have to turn it off. Hi, <laughs> I, I turned chat on because I wanted to see what people were saying after a, an epic game I had because I, I knew they were saying something. Joking wizard, also becoming a member. Thank you very much. Do appreciate the support. All right, so let's see. Do I have my allies with me? I do. All right, now the Chimera has decent penetration, but against something like a haul down a mill, I probably don't stand much of a chance. I'm going to take a risk and go for an early spot run. I spotted no one yet, so I'm going to pull back in case they have tanks sent towards A, but we have a lot of guys in B. We, we be chilling. I think we be chilling. So, oh, here's a panther, and there is a British tank, which will load that reticle calibration. He did have a spall liner, so only did 414. Actually did less damage than I would have with standard roll with AP, so uh, good to know. Maybe the HE isn't good enough to, to hit tanks with spall liner. Let's put another shot towards this challenger. This is why the Chimera is busted. For some reason, Wargaming decided to give a tank with 440 alpha damage on a medium tank reticle calibration, which means you absolutely slap and you can have extremely good accuracy while doing so. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Obviously, this tank is, is underpowered, right, guys? The tank needed reticle calibration to work well. 
I, I suppose that's not really the case. Let's point out a shell towards this KV-3. We've already dealt close to 2,000 damage. I need to watch out behind me. As you can see, I have no allies coming to support, so the best play for me soon is to drop out through the mid. But first, let's make sure I'm safe. Okay, the Emil can't really shoot me. We could probably sneak a shell into this LT when he's sneaking across, so let's just pre-aim for him. Okay, maybe he's not maybe he's not crossing just yet. Let's see. I actually don't know where the LT went, but there is a Panther M10 around the corner. Let's put a quick shot into his tracks, keeping it in place. 450, very good. Got a donation. Dan, thank you so much for the $10 donation. Really appreciate the support. We also have this M4 FL10 over here who has messed up one shot, and uh, I'm not really sure what his plans are, but I am not able to hit that second shell. That's fine. All right, looks like we also have a Pat in here, so unfortunately missing that shell there. Now, the strategy I've gone for here is, as you can tell, we had a lot of allies on my side that went towards A. And the best play to do, if you're still going to try and take some degree of C control, and the enemy team has uh, gone C, is you can pull out into this middle position here. This is a really strong position because the enemy team have to really overexpose to shoot at you. Like, my whole team is kind of just hunkered down in this ditch here. I'm going to pop the adrenaline so I can reload faster for this for this um, M4 Rampanzer. We've already dealt 3,000 damage, and I am in a pretty secure position. As you can see, the M4 made the mistake of trying to pull over up top to shoot at me. Obviously, that didn't go super well for him because he was... Oh, I'm not sure what this Rampanzer's doing. There we go. Uh, because of the Crossfire A. So always try and work with your teammates in a position like this. Make sure you have that crossfire. And you can, generally speaking, if you play it right, hold this middle position pretty passively very easily. So let's put a shell. 550 max roll. The alpha damage on this tank is absolutely insane. And I've just been chilling this entire game, just out here chilling, casually farming up damage. And that's just what this, that's just what the Chimera does really well. So let's pre-aim a shot for this LT. Looks like he might be trying to make a break for it. We get a nice kill shot into him. And that was easily, well, over 4,000 damage. I didn't really check the markers, but uh, it's pretty spicy to see the lead. Yeah, 4,200 damage. Cool. That reminds me, I have some goals to achieve today. One, ace the Chimera. Two, maintain around 2.8k average damage. And uh, I had a third goal, but it completely slipped my mind because of short-term memory loss, apparently. So, uh, yeah, th those are my goals for now. I'm trying to think what else was... I was going to do something else with the Chimera. Well, I guess we'll go for... Oh, yeah, deal 5,000 damage, which probably will go hand-in-hand -hand with the Ace. So let's try and reach those achievements. I always like setting the little achievements now at the start of the stream. Uh, hopefully the stream is still working for y'all. No, it's not. No. Error, YouTube receiving video. No, this is so sad. Oh dear. Okay, well, I'll be back. <laughs> I just jumped into a game. F. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go get myself killed as quickly as possible because I really don't want to sit here and waste your guys' time and energy. Um, dear, dear me. Dear me. This is truly sad, boys. This is truly sad, to say the least. Your boy has been outplayed big time by the stream. Oh dear. Oh, hello. Looks like we got this dude here. Darn! Okay, uh, give me some time to fix up the stream. <laughs> Unfortunately, apparently the, uh, I don't know if it's the internet or YouTube servers, something's causing it to freeze up just a little bit, so, yes. I, I will try and finish this game quickly, boys. I would feel bad for my team, though, if I suicided. So, just give me a moment. This is so sad. Bad. <laughs> no. I'm getting outplayed here, but there's not really much I can do about it. I have intentionally put myself in a crossfire. Oh. Okay. Aha! Have we fixed it? I am so sorry. I, I think we have almost fixed it. Let's see. I'm not going to end the stream. I'm going to wait for it to catch up. Okay. <laughs> Unselfish disliked. No, best for sure. So sad. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, That's quite disappointing. I wonder when it started doing that. Because I didn't notice when I was entering my next match. Oh, dear. Are we back? We're back. That's good. Um... I don't know what happened. It's it's like my connection to the YouTube server plummeted, so I had to disconnect. Also, I suicided because I didn't want to sit here playing a whole game out. So I pretty much just YOLO'd into all their meds. Um, RIP the, to the challenge of maintaining high average damage. Let's hope my allies can win this. My bad, guys. My bad. I feel I feel bad about that. But I actually, I shouldn't feel too bad. There was nothing I could do about it. I just had to restart all of my software. We seem to be solid. The bitrate's stable. The connection seems good. Cool. 
All right. <laughs> no, we're gonna lose. No, my 90% win rate. No. <laughs> Connection go bear. Fenders, this was the only way the game was gonna balance you out. Win rate is uh, to not have 100. Yeah, this is, I'm sad we're losing because I know I'm pretty positive if I didn't have to YOLO into their team and die as quickly as possible, I probably, I probably could have won this game. But I wasn't gonna sit here for three and a half minutes being sweaty while you guys had to deal with two FPS problems on this side. Forgot to turn chat off. Yeah, I'm sure my allies are going nuts in chat, I just realized. <laughs> I, I don't even read chat, so I forget it's on. <laughs> All right. When do you visit on Aegis or Halal's fan is? Oh dear, I don't know if I want to play with 300 plus ping. Well, RIP to the win rate. It had to happen. I had I have been balanced. <laughs> Chat being wild. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> was one of the most the icon on the Smasher stream. Yes, Jack, it was. It is the uh this one right here. It's very epic. Okay. Alright, well, I've been thoroughly trolled. How? How is this possible? I intentionally put myself in the worst position possible so I wouldn't survive very long. And I still did better damage than every single player in my team in a tier 9 matchup. <laughs> oh my goodness. Epic teammates. Epic teammates. When, when Fatness himself tries intentionally getting himself uh, taken out as quickly as possible and he still outperforms his entire team. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, welcome to the NA server, right? This is why I usually keep chat off. I apologize for all your sensitive eyes. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a bro moment right there. That's when you can start putting in those emotes like bruh. All right. Well, it's uh, we're back on track. The stream, it, it's the bit rate solid. The connection looks good. We chillin'. Time to get back into the sweaty mode. I had to get balanced out my second game. Wargaming was, well not Wargaming, maybe it was YouTube this time. YouTube was like, hmm, we can't have this dude being super OP in the Chimera. So uh, let's slow him down for a moment. Feels bad, man. All right, so I'm gonna go up top. Obviously uh, this tank is best suited for just bombing medium tanks. It, it straight up has a bomb on the front of the vehicle that it just shoots at the enemy vehicles for 440 damage. Looks like the AMX has been taken down. I assume the majority of the enemy team does not appear to be here. Let's quickly pick up a kill on this AMX here. Poor dude was all by himself. And that leaves the rest of the enemy team pretty much in front of us. Now the E25, interesting, interesting. Wasn't really expecting him to be there. Looks like the enemy team is a bit split up as well. So I do want to be careful for any potential crossfires. Looks like we got a Pershing here. So I'm going to pull back before I get mega crossfired. The armor on this tank is doing its job. As you can see, pretty well armored vehicle. We also have a 112 down here that I might start working towards. Let's see if we can pull up and get a shell to his side here. He does pen my turret. That's to be expected from a tier 8 uh, heavy tank with higher pen. The armor on this tank is good. Definitely not infallible on the turret. That's something that you have... You kind of have to accept. It's a bit like the Vickers. Oh dear, 550 damage dealt to that poor dude. It's a bit like the Vickers CR, where it has a trollish manlet, but it's not something you should rely on a ton. Anyways, it looks like the Pershing came back for seconds. He is just fired, and it looks like the Mr. CDC over here, which put a quick shot onto his side, 476, very nice, is uh, also going for a YOLO run. We, d I think we've already won this game. So the enemy team kind of made the mistake of going park on this spawn. If there's one thing I've always insisted, it's that. Uh, Generally speaking, boys, it's a big no bueno play to try and take Park from this spawn. It looks like the CDC has just pretty much suicided as well. There's an IS-5, what's aim a shot at his rear? Oh no, trolled by the gun. Clearly underpowered. Hey, 25. Let's see. I'm not pushing myself into any ma major crossfires, am I? E25 gets hammered there. Let's put another... Oh, nope, not quite able. Uh, slow reaction time Andy over here. Let's just push it onto the Z25. I'm just going to push across because their team's practically dead at this point. So I'm just going to YOLO in for some extra damage. And uh, that was a pretty fast game. I wasn't able to farm up as much damage as I would have liked. I wonder if I can HE this dude. We're going to go for the damage. I'm going to shoot this dude in the back. And... Oh, we did 3k... See, this is the thing about the Chimera. You're like, oh my goodness, we did 3,000 damage. You'd never know. It farms up damage just so fast. It's pretty incredible. All right. Hey, man. I am new here. So, so we're Brazil. Hey, what's up to all the Brazilians out there? Welcome to the stream. Frosty, how's it going as well? I have missed some of you guys in the chat while I was molding over the... Oh, my goodness. The enemy team. This this is sad. Their team didn't even break 1K. The 25 did top. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Remember when you did backwards VK72 and you did OP? That was a, a very that was a very sad experience all the same. Fantasy is the TJ. <laughs> is that TJ? No, it, it's a tiger. 
It's a tiger. I got it in, in, in memory of my first cat. <laughs> Six year old fanist reaction time. <laughs> Hi, Yulong. We're giving these to be Nerf Fanist. He is uh, the equal to a full team of Annihilators. Oh dear, no, no, don't, don't, don't even suggest to Wargaming that they nerf me. Thank you very much. Would you try reactive armor and aggressive play? Um, is that a question? So, I don't run reactive on the Chimera. Reactive is fine on a heavy tank, but here's the thing. For my personal playstyle with the Chimera, I don't see reactive quite as a necessity because I like to play this like more as a more as a sit back, nuke, pull back. I'm not pressuring. I'm not trying to get into those DPM fights with a tank like the Chimera. It's usually about trying to find a position where you can just dunk a shot into the enemy tanks. And that's what the Chimera does best. That's why I don't choose reactive. I prefer reticle calibration just so I can snap shots off more reliably. That's an awesome tattoo. My guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, we got some company, boys. We got some company. Looks like we got this homeboy over here. Oh, hello. What's HEM the back? 504. Nice little juicy HE into him to start the game off. Looks like T49 might be AFK. Let me just hurry on over so I can get another high explosive shell into this to this kind sir over here. Let's aim that in. 499. Doing about 1,000 damage with two shots. Very hot. And I think we can also dunk on this VK as well if he stays put. I wonder if I can HE his side. Oh my goodness, we can HE his side too. No, I messed it up. I thought it was a pen, but I was I was wrong. Oh well, it does happen. Looks like he is not going to survive super long. Let's just pull back for a moment here. And uh, I think I should... Okay, his hit points are so low, I'm not even going to bother. He's going to go down to the DPM of the tick next to me. Let's just max with the Waffenträger instead. No, he had a spore liner. Okay, lesson learned. If they have spore liners, don't shoot HG at them. It doesn't work. You do less damage than you would with AP. All right, so... Mr. Waffenträger is still chilling here, but looks like he's finally starting to back up. I think we've already won this game. Zach, how do you know if you uh, if you look good? Oh, <laughs> look, in the, look in the Chimera. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's put a shout out to this dude. E25 with the absolute insane kamikaze. Oh man. Except he survived. What what a, what a feat for, for this young soul over here. Oh, it looks like we have an IS6 here. I wonder if I can HE him in the back. No, I can't. Let's put a shout out to this IS6. We're dealing damage so easily. This tank is just so... So... Rat. <laughs> so rat in terms of just being bruh. Like... Yeah. Let's put a shout out to the back of this tiger as well. 414 into him. IS6 is still chilling. I'm just going to focus the Tiger. He's, he's a more dangerous target, so I'd rather take him out first, hopefully. Yeah, the I-6 is now getting crossfired out anyway, so let's just put a max on to this dude. 549, very good, and that just leaves Mr. I-6 left. 3,500 damage still, very easily. R-25 is still alive. Look at this dude. Anyways, I probably won't reload in time. Russian Disaster, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. All right. Oh, wait, I, I messed it up. I can't see how many likes I have. 105, good job, boys. Let's reach that 200 like mark. All right, three and a half thousand damage. Very good. So we are fixing our damage. After I, I had that uh, poor game where I had no choice but to suicide YOLO. I love to rest with the Chimera. It's so heavy. Right, it is. Great tank, frustrating to play against, right? Yeah, it's a little bit busted. <laughs> That's a fat alpha. I need Fatness and Ram Ram Rambo Sheridan. <laughs> His royal. I wonder if I can HE him. Fatness. <laughs> is, 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 this, is this all I say? His royal. I wonder if I can HE him. Fatness here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> How do you tell you have a max roll? So there's an icon. If you, if, okay. So pay attention, sir. Look right above my hit point bar. Each time I consecutively hit a shot, there's a notification bar that fills up. After you pen three consecutive shells, you get a 35% chance of back rolling your fourth penetrating shot. Um, that's pretty much how it works. You can't miss a single shot. If you miss a shot, then you miss out on your opportunity to max roll. Let's put a shot into this TI2 here. And as you can see, there's this little this little pie chart that appears right there in the corner. That is the max roll crew skill notification perk. So I have to hit two more consecutive shells, and then my fourth shot has a chance of max rolling. That's pretty much how it works, boys. So now you know. If you don't know, get this crew skill. It is a light tank crew skill and in my opinion an absolute must have. So let's put a shell into this TI2 here. There we go. And now we have two markers on the max roll crew skill so we can continue forward. And if I hit my third shot here without hopefully taking a shell in return, let's see if we can hit a third shell here. I'm mm, not going to risk it. That would probably miss. I think we're safe. Looks like the, the TDs aren't here. So I'm just going to YOLO across on this TI2 and Panther. We're going to hit a shell onto this Panther's lower plate in this infolate. Very good. 444. And now so my next shot has a as a advanced player for 68 damage, so let me down. I, I thank you so much for the donation. Let's see, is this a max roll? 
It wasn't. So that one didn't go through. But that's how the crew skill works pretty much. If you pen four shots in a row, your four shot has, you know, the 35 chance chance of maximum. Looks like there's a TD up here. I'm going to go towards this hill where it'll be safer. I might take another shot. It's probably the Scorpion G, so let's get safe. Ice, thank you so much for the donation. I got to do 6k damage now, boys. No excuses. 6k damage it is. All right. Let's start off, though, by nuking this Scorpion G. Now, he doesn't have a spawn liner, so I should be able to hit him for 500 very easily here. So let's see if we can do that. I'm not quite sure where he is. I might be spotted by now. Not yet. He's clearly hiding out in the back. There's my boy in the Scorpion. Let's put a quick HE into his side. 480. Oh, I accidentally popped my reticle calibration. I am confirmed a Muppet. Guys, I have been confirmed a Muppet. All right, Mr. Scorpion. Would you like to stay here? Would you like to try and uh, deal with me? There we go. 580. That's more like the HE we want to see. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful high explosive shells. In a beautiful tank. All right, looks like we have a CDC coming this way. I'm gonna act like I'm not looking at him. The bait him to pull forward. Let's put. An no, I got gun blocked. I have been. I have been scammed. <laughs> Dang it! I was trying to hit his upper plate with HE, but I accidentally gun blocked. So that's unfortunate. Looks like this man's is pretty much dead. I may as well just kill him real quick. Bop. And then we'll just go for the M5 Yo, who is kind of on the flank here. So let's try and. Oh, excuse me, buddy. No. CDC, why are you driving into me when I'm in front of you? It makes no sense. Okay. Ah, uh, the M5 is going to get nuked by the T28. I don't think we're getting 3k damage this game, boys. I don't know if I have the mobility. I will do my best, though. Come here, Mr. M5, yo. Where art thou? Don't die yet. Don't die yet. Give me one more shot of damage at least. One more shot and I'll be happy. All right. Lower plate it is. Very good. 417. He's dead now. Nice. Nice. Out of Russian. Yes. <laughs> hello, hello. To our fellow disaster master. Is it true? <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Still holding on to 3K average, so that's not too bad. Honestly, like, my average would be so much higher if I didn't have to yellow. I'm, I'm still kind of salty at the yellow that one game. But uh, what can you do when your stream decides to disconnect? <laughs> Most people at Tier 8 don't make three shots in a row and never see the maximum roll icon. <laughs> well, it happens. Van is grinding kills and his muscles. Oh, dear. Blento. Blento, thank you so much for the $10 donation. I appreciate it. Have I stayed in touch with the old Craig members? I'm afraid to say I have I have not succeeded. I, I have contacted in the last, I think, year or so, A7XO, who's a good friend of mine during the Blitzkrieg days. Um, haven't tapped to Concept in a while, but he used to be my he used to be my homie. Good old days of playing with Concept at 6 a.m. Those are fun. And uh, most of the other Creek members, I think, are pretty much dead, so I, I have not talked to them in a long time. Feels bad. My first actual clan. Good screen. Good old days. All right, I want to play an LT432, but I don't want to run into fatness. <laughs> you can just wait till I'm in game and then press battle. The you are you will achieve the counter stream sniping, where you're not stream sniping, but you're stream sniping me so you don't get into my match. That's pretty big brain, isn't it? All right, there's an Emil. Don't quite have a shell on him. We're just gonna pop up the mid here. Now, fortunately, none of my allies seem to have gone high. I do need to be careful. This is a tier nine matchup, and there's a lot of nasty tanks like the T30 over there. But oh, it looks like we have an easy shell onto this AT15. So I'll take that and back into safety. I did not get spotted. Good to know. And so, I'm just going to hold hold on for now. I will have to watch out. The enemy team will probably start flooding into our spawn soon. I'm sure we will have some allies there to try and counter them a little bit. But I'll let this batch out do all the spotting for me. I'll just chill. I'll chill here. We'll, we'll wait for the enemy team to make the bad play. And once they make a bad play, we are free to... All right, this is this has to be this has to be worth the risk. Oh, yes. Watch 423. That HE rolled lower than my AP. What is this nonsense? This was... A massive low world. I am disappointed. It's okay. Maybe we can get a second shell into this AMX, though. Looks like... Oh, my goodness. AMX has armor now. All right. No! He turned inwards. My mistake there. I thought he was going to continue pulling forward. All right. So, it looks like the enemy team split up. STA-1 appears to be semi-isolated. I will want to watch for the crossfire with the mill, but you know what? Maybe we can put a shell into this mill while he's not looking at me. So, let's aim. You know what? I thought my aim was so off. I've been turning off my auto-aim by accident. I don't, yeah, I was like, why can't, why is it so, why is it so choppy? I don't necessarily need auto aim to aim in, but it does make things a lot easier. Okay, this game's going very fast. We've already practically won, so if I want to get any last minute damages in, I should be a wee bit more aggressive. Looks like we have an SU-130 moving up top as well. That is a mighty juicy target indeed. He has just fired as well, so 
Let's see if we can do anything about this glorious SC-130. Put an HE into his lower plate. 542. Very nice. You like to see those high rolls. Looks like the SC is going for the defender. Can't blame him. And there we go. He gets taken out. And now we should be good to push in on this Emil-1 or E-75. Let's see. Do I have a shot on this E-75? I do, but it's a relatively small one. No, he's using the carcass perfectly. No, I messed it up. I am such a muppet. I should have just gone for the Emil. Okay, this was an absolute sweep game. How unfortunate. It was uh, such a sweep game that I'm not going to be able to farm much damages out this match. Oh well. Alright, so we can put another stone to this Emil. And we caught him on fire. Very good. I dealt 2,000 damage this game. Yikes, I was too passive, boys. Mistakes were made. Average damage has declined. <laughs> has, has lowered itself. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> well, you can actually just look back. You'll see I turned off the, uh, the auto aim. I want to ha I want to put one of my accounts on the RU server. I've heard it's easy to run up damage there. Yes, the RU server definitely is a um, a server where you can pretty easily r rake in damage. But you also have to decide: is it worth playing with maybe 200 plus ping? You know, it, just because the server is more farmable, the fact you're going to be missing a lot more shots and and running into objects more often might not really make a huge difference for you. The type of guy to road rage about the guy not going right in the street. <laughs> Good day, fatness and stream. Good day, Vegemite Tinker. Oh, yes. Timf, how's it going? I mean, he's in, he's in a tank top today. That's like 1 in 15 streams. That is like 1 in 15 streams. Hey, fatness, use the tank as rammer, maybe. Um, as rammer. I thought you said use the tank with a Oh, my goodness, boys. We are looking at one of the rarest tier 10s in the game. The tank that has a 0.05% or 0.005% drop chance. It is one of the most difficult tanks to get. It's an A phase 1. An incredibly difficult tank to deal with when it's hold down. So this should be an interesting fight. It is a tier 9, so he has the upper hand against me. The enemy team also has a couple of tier 8 tank destroyers, so I'm not going to want to overexpose myself along the mid here. I will need to be extremely cautious about how I play out this game. So... Firstly, let's pull back from this, this A phase one. Let's see if we can get a shell into the side of this, uh, a mil one. We do get a, sh a shot in his side. Ah, I can't speak. We do get a shot into his side. E50 is flanking us. Looks like the Waffenträger's up in the mid. I do need to watch my rear though, as this E50 clearly will want to try and shoot at me once he gets behind me a little bit here. So let's, let's aim in a shot on this dude's lower plate. There's that reticle calibration, but oh dear. I am in all, all kinds of trouble. I am in all kinds of trouble, boys. Oh, I might be dead. Unfortunate! We were taken out very quickly there. I, I, uh, instinctively, for a moment there, for a split second, I almost made the play to push over to the other side of B. And I, I hesitated, and I pulled back. That was a mistake. If I'd pulled over, I would have been fine. I would have taken, like, one or two shots, but I would have been alive. Looks like the enemy team straight up just YOLO'd through A. I didn't think they were gonna do that. Usually teams take their time on A, but, uh, there you go. Looks like, um, our sniping heavy tanks are doing a very good job over here, keeping the enemy team's attention down, but... Who knows, maybe my team could win. If there was, if they would start getting cap pressure, though, that would be better. Oh, well. I don't know if I want to wait for these uh, Pepega Piggies to play it out. So... You know what? There's a tank. The, the Chieftain, T90, uh, Chieftain tank is currently in the store. I'll play a game of the Chieftain. Just one game, because I don't want to sit around and keep you guys watching nothing. We'll be back to the Chimera in just a moment. How close are we to 25k? We actually surpassed 25k a, couple, uh, a day or two ago. It's just that the... Uh, the YouTube, for some reason, the YouTube itself hasn't updated, but the YouTube studio shows have, like, 25,050 subs or something along those lines. That was a bit sad. Man, I shouldn't have hesitated. I was maybe too busy talking. I, I didn't quite make the connection that I should run away faster. I almost did. I almost did. I was looking at the Waffenträger. I'm like, you know what? If that Waffenträger backs up, I can probably pull across. And then I got, then I got debated. I didn't think their whole team was there. The mistake was also pulling back. Ah, feels bad. It's okay. We will we will still have a good game. We will still have more good games to come. Let's put a quick shell into this dude. This is actually a pretty underrated tank, the Chieftain, uh, in my opinion. I think it's actually quite a good vehicle for... Um, oh dear, we got to watch our right-hand side. There's a crossfire 53 TP here. I think it's actually quite a good heavy tank. It's a bit... It's not incredibly popular, unfortunately. Uh, mostly because it's a little bit lacking on armor because it has a giant hatch, but it has a solid gun. Overall, its turret, with the exception of the hatch, is quite strong. So, I like this tank. I personally, I remember I got this for free back when Wargaming gave lots of tier 8 tanks out for free in events. It was fun, but, uh, that just wasn't the case. Looks like we, it looks like we did, unfortunately, lose that game. 
Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, nice, he misses me. Very good. All right, looks like the enemy team is split up, so I'm going to start farming out this Malabracker here. Put a shot to his lower plate. Very good. Charioteer also pulled down low, so I'm going to pull close to this ridge so I can get... So I can get a better opportunity to start cross-firing out tanks like this Charioteer, maybe. Who I'm pretty sure is going to start pulling forward. We're going to pull back from him. He does put a shell into my lower plate. Very good for him. But um, in terms of hit points, I have so many hit points here. There's no way he can win this fight just by YOLOing me. So let's uh, let's let him ram me. That makes him a one-shot. There we go. He goes down. We're going to try and bait this VK. Unfortunately, that doesn't go to plan, but it's okay. And we're just going to... We're just going to start DPMing, DPMing the rest of these guys here. Although we've already won this game. My team was incredibly aggressive here and it worked out really well for them. Let's push on to this AMX. Very good. All right. So I think we lost that game, boys. A very unfortunate... Very unfortunately, we were not able to clutch up the game with the uh, the Chimera. But at least, uh, at least we could waste your time watching me play the... Uh, the Chieftain T95 instead. <laughs> Sorry. I keep calling Chieftain T95. It's just the Chieftain. That's all it is. It's just a straight up chieftain. AMX, why? You spawn sniper game and then you run away. No, I got no damage this game. Feels bad, man. I wasn't able to really demonstrate this tank's abilities fully because I wasn't really in much of a holdout engagement there. All right, that was uh, that was so unlucky. Hey, we actually won. I take it back. I did two. Sh I still did better than our T92. Ha, ha. Take it. All right, let's jump back into the Chimera then. Dang, that, that situation was so bizarre. How often does a team just full send all the way through A without even thinking that we might have tanks in our own spawn deck or crossfire them? Like, they just full sent it there. I did not, it's very rare that it happens. So I didn't really think I should back out right away. But oh well, it is what it is. We can still have some good games. <laughs> you talk like this in tournaments. No, in tournaments, I talk much different. <laughs> Wish they remove the hatch on that tank and give it a normal size cupola. Like the same size as the sharks. I don't see why they wouldn't, to be honest. How is that tank... Like, how would that make it better than a shark, right? Just thinking. It's nearly 4 a.m. here in Hungary. My goodness. Get some sleep. Don't let me keep you waiting. All right. Let's use that to our like mark, boys. And uh, we are not going to have a repeat of what happened on Canyon. That was a, a particularly unfortunate. That's the second time I had sub 3k games in this tank because... Well, the first time I had to quit because the stream was uh, going Pepega, and then this time it was just a weird, kind of weird scenario to be stuck in. Well, isn't that interesting? That's a lot of tanks in front of me, isn't it? Let's start by putting a shot into this sphere. Now, the enemy team has no tank destroyers. Otherwise, I would never make this play. But they have zero tank destroyers. So there's nothing to be worried about. Oh, dear. Sphere is full sending. Now, I think it's pretty obvious that they're going to have heavy tanks going through this ship. So if my instincts are correct... I should probably pull down from here before I get nuked by them. Although, oh, there's the tiger. Let's use our reticle calibration here. Putting a quick shell to his side. I love reticle calibration, man. It is so hot. It is seriously such a good consumable. <laughs> a little bit too good at times, especially for a tank like the Chimera. And there we go. Here is the M6. As I anticipated, the enemy team does have tanks over here. So I made a good play by pulling down when I did. Although this defender is going to be really annoying. Although I don't think he can he can hit more than three shots on me. He has four shot auto loader. Good play by the defender, I guess, making the rotation through town. Can't 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 fault him for that, especially as his team is not doing well on this particular flank here. Looks like there's a Pantera in the open temporary. Let's put a shot to his side. 550 max roll. Yeah, and just like that, we've already dealt 2,000 damage this game. I think if my team were to play this correctly, we should start making a pressure on the Pantera very soon. So I wonder if we can start doing that. Looks like the Pantera is about to get taken out by the T43. The Tiger may spot me. The AMX Defender shouldn't have shots at me at the moment, so I'm going to go just... Uh, oh, no. AMX Defender made another rotation. Oh, well. I don't think he's going to shoot me. Let's put a shell into this T49, and we're going to pull down on this ridge here. We should be safe now. Bro. T T43, are you are you going <laughs> to... There we go. I thought the T43 was keeping the Pantera occupied. No. All right. Looks like the Tiger is now up top here. We could probably... Eh, I'm going to act like I'm backing up now. I don't want to put myself in a crossfire from mid. But I think we should be chilling. Oh, I was looked away for a second and he poked. Muppet gameplay. How unfortunate. All right. Well, it looks like this dude's going down. Very good. Has at least three allies remaining for the enemy team. So let's just full on YOLO and get some last minute damage. I need to uh, increase that average number. I know 2.8k was the goal. But if I can get a 3k session in this tank, uh, all the better. So let's just 
full on charge into this battle over here. There's the Malabraca right there, the defenders up top. The VK should give me a side shot very soon. Nope, he's making a slow rotation outwards. So I'll just have to put forward a little bit more. Let's push down to his side. Very nice. We're at 2,900 damage dealt already. And, well, the VK is not going to survive very long, is he? So let's pull across over here. Start getting a crossfire in these fools. Looks like there is a... Hmm, M6, yellowing down low. I think we're going to put a shell into his side if at all possible. He is pushing forward, but we should be able to HE this. There we go. 598. What an insane HE shell. So where's this defender hiding? Where are you, defender? I know you want to kill me. Where are you? Very good, Mr. Defender. Very good. All right. Please come and kill me. Or, or at least attempt to. No, the, che the Cheeto is blocking all of my shots on this fool. How dare you? Cheeto! <laughs> oh well. Oh, he fired. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna pick up another shell on this dude. Nice, that's 4,000 damage dealt. A very ch a very chill game, I would say, for the most part. Come here, boy. Okay, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. So we don't have to worry so much about him. Current Arms of Percy. We can't sleep after we get the notification that you're starting streaming. Aw, Daniel, thank you. But uh, always make sure to prioritize yourself over some some random mobile gamers stream. Okay, 3.9. Not bad. 125,000 credits. I have had yet to ace this vehicle. We must ace it. Dang, my Chimera average really did drop. 2.9. Ah, well. Match better good look at that. Oh, dear. Chimera is weird. It performs much better than it, its paper stats indicate. Right, the gun on the Chimera is definitely a interesting thing. Like, I feel like the gun is nowhere near as derpy as you think it would be. Maybe it's because I use reticle calibration, so I hit a lot of snapshots when I need to. That might also be why. Sleep is overrated when HRF is streaming. Ah, oh, Shadow Entity. Thank you. I've been asleep. Ryan just uh, woke up super early. Oh, wow. Hello from uh, Canary Islands. Love Chimera and the way you make it shine. Congrats. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, shout out to the Canary Islands. Venice, would you have survived if you pulled left instead? Are you referring to the game on Canyon? Yes, 100%. I would have survived. Their TDs were going to get pressured out very quickly there. They weren't going to really poke on me that much. If they did, they would have died really quickly. Um, I was just too slow in the rotation that game. I didn't think their team was just going to full send all the way through A. So I made that mistake of sticking in mid a little too long. If I had been like... 10 seconds sooner if I'd realized that their team was just full sending A, I could have pulled the safety of that game. But that is just how it works sometimes. All right, Mr. Chimera. Well, oh dear. Oh dear. We got some, a very big brain. Oh, okay. 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 That was not very, that was not a very hot shot, guys. Uh, I should have just aimed center mass instead of trying to HE his side. Trying to HE the side actually made me miss that shot because I over aimed it. All right. At least we have the Chimera. And there we go. That's a good look at the Chimera's armor profile as well. Drac, why do you need to sit behind me? You don't need to sit behind me. You can go anywhere else. Thank you. All right. So we have radical calibration popped here. We should be able to hit this KV's hatch very easily. 480 into him. Very good. Let me pull back real quick. The hit points on the Chimera. I forgot to mention. That's also another very strong feature of this vehicle. It has almost 1600 hit points. Like, that's insane for a medium tank in tier 8. Let's window shell into this KV-5. Very good. There's a Titan below us. I don't have to worry about him just yet. We're going to focus on clearing the tanks in front of us. This should theoretically be a decent farm fest because there's just a lot of tanks chilling in front of us here. So, let's see if this guy Mira makes a mistake. Looks like he has not, but let's put a nice shell into... Oi, what was that? That was my max roll too. That is, uh... I think that was server lag because my ping was steady and did not spike at all. So I don't see how else that shot could have delayed so long. All right. Let's see. Maybe we can put a shell into the side of the size 3's turret. Very good. Looks like the KV-5 is full sending below us. I'm going to start pulling out of here so I don't get over pressured from above. As you can see, the IS-3 is trying to rotate up top. So let me just pull back for a moment here. And then that should leave me free. Okay, well, he's dead. That should leave me three to put a shell into their Chimera at least. No, we just meant it. I've had so many opportunities to farm, they just have not worked. Gotta use my perks as frequently as possible. Yes, joking wizard. Use those special member stickers. They are very... I made them just for you guys. Well, I, I take that back. I think Tanks, actually, my Patreon made that sticker. So, technically, he, he made them for you guys. Alright. Forwards. This game is already practically won. Let's pick up a kill on this M4 MLE. Or M4FL10. M4 there I go again. Misnaming Tanks. I am super... Super good at this. I'm going to pull back. Hey, Chimera. 
How's your day going? Hope you're doing okay over there, buddy. Let's just uh, put a quick shell into your side while you're not paying attention and pull back from you again. Very good. That's 2,900 damage dealt. Looks like our Dracula is going to yeet this dude very soon. Ram him, Drac. Okay, you know what? I'll take his attention. I'll help our IS IS3 out over here. Let's put a quick shell into this dude. Very good. Game over. 3k damage dealt. Word. Word. Haha, <laughs> skill issues. Please explain how reticle calibration works. Reticle calibration reduces your dispersion when you're shooting. Pretty much. It's pretty OP. If you want to read it, this is what reticle calibration does. 40, minus 40% 40 to aiming time, minus 40% to dispersion. That includes on movement, during rotation, and while fully aimed in. It is, uh, it's one of those special consumables where you're like, eh, we don't really need it, but heck, why not? It's pretty fun. I always like using reticle calibration when possible. The stream completely froze for like three seconds there. Oh no, it did. <laughs> Hadness, have you been lifting weights? Muscles are looking huge. Uh, I don't do weights, I do push-ups though. <laughs> I was trying to stream style, so I didn't notice anything. Hello. Big alpha, good HP, good DPM, good accuracy, good gun depression, good armor, good speed. That's the chimera in a nutshell, I think. At least good, accu good accuracy considering it has alpha damage. That's the highest at for a tier 8 medium tank. Alright, almost 200 likes. Good job, guys. Smash the like button. Let us, let us reach that 200 like mark, T49, why are you backing into me? Alright, uh, poor T44s, man. So let's think about this. They have a CDC, they have a Chimera as well, Centurion Mark V, a lot of people without avatars, that's gonna suss, RE251. I have only, well, 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 what have we got here? I might be able to nuke this dude, actually. Let us see if we can possibly nuke this dude when he's pulling out a B. He's kind of in the open right now. No, he's running away in a semi-intelligent fashion where I won't be able to nuke him, but if I pull forward just enough into this bush, we might be able to HE this fool. There we go. One good HE into him. Charioteer is up top. I'm surprised he was pre-aiming our way, but oh dear, the CDC gets yoded. Uh, goodbye. Enemy team's already capped A, so with that in mind, we must pay attention to the crossfire that the Charioteer has, but simultaneously, we also need to start working down the tanks that are going to be pulling through A. For instance, this enemy Chimera here. Let's put a quick shell into his hatch and pull back. He also hits my hatch. Good shot by him. Unfortunately, I've taken a couple of shots here and lost half my hit points, but I still feel pretty confident. We have a Scorpion here after all. Looks like this, um, this charioteer shouldn't have shots on me. Let's pop the reticle calibration, load of HE for the- 85? Where? How do I do 85 damage? I can HE his whole rear. I must have hit his engine deck. Unfortunate. That was a really low splash as well. Alright, so, let's put a shell into this Chimera. 550, hopefully with the max roll. Only 498, still a high roll. Hopefully our Scorp can do something about the Chimera, or maybe T44. Good work, T44. And, yeah, that leaves this dude dead. So, we've already kind of- oh dear. Hello, are you, T51? Thank you for destroying the soft cover there, buddy. I'm going to HE you now for your... Okay, well, AP you now for your courteous treatment. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Driver problems. Oh, no. My driver's died twice. How unfortunate. Oh, no, no. There you go. Stay alive, my guy. Good work, my friend. All right, let's 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 load up an HE for this dude's lower plate. Oh, 550. I'll take that. Very good. So, we've already won this game. The only slightly prob problematic uh, situation I am in right now is the... Simply the fact that my driver is dead, so I'm probably not going to be able to get to the to the main engagement in the next minute or so <laughs> before they're all dead. I'll do my best, but the 53 TP is just sending it. Yeah, this is a this is an RIP for the average damage, but at least we did good. We did good. GG to that scorpion. He did a good job holding off the front line. And you know what? Even the T44 was a good meat shield. All right. Fast, the 51 has spaced armor on the rear. It does? It, it, there you go. Goes to show how much I know about tier 8, right? <laughs> I guess I'm just not- I guess I just don't see a club enough. I need to figure that out. <laughs> Alright, come on! One more shot at least! At least one more shot, guys! It's all I request. Give it! Give it! Let me get a shot into 53 TP, please, 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 please don't be pre-aiming me, thank you. Yes, we got our last shot in, boys, so now we got close to 3k. I am satisfied. Where Bobby? Have you not noticed where Bobby is? Bobby is right here. She's been with us this entire time. We're fanish, we're fanish. <laughs> hey, how it's her? Abby play. Here's Bobby. Bobby is with us. Both in essence and in reality. Shark is best tier 8 heavy. Shark is a uh, pretty cracked heavy, I will admit. That tank do be busted. <laughs> so we are maintaining 90% win rate. Very good. That's what I was hoping to maintain, because that's currently what I have in the Chimera. Hmm. 
I might make a bit of an alternative play here. So usually I'd go deal with the meds, but I feel like the Chimera is one of those tanks that you can take to a heavy tank engagement. Not with the intention of playing it as a heavy, but as a heavy tank support vehicle. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. Um, the enemy team don't have any particularly scary heavies. I'm sure they have autoloaders that have like 900, 960 damage autoloaders. But for the most part, I think we can deal with them if I have enough support. So let's see. Looks like most of my team is headed this way. CDC and M41 are on the flake. That's good for them. I'm going to try and see if I can catch anyone off guard that's on this kind of middle area. So let's see. Let's pop the reticle calibration ahead of time. There we go. Get a quick shell into this dude. Very good. I do have support from the Gravedigger and the Raimatal Borsig, but that's about it. So I still want to be careful that I don't overdo it here and get myself pressured. Now, it looks like the M4 is not looking at me. So let's put a quick shell into him. Sorry, M3. I said M4. There I go again. Misnaming tanks. Aye, aye, aye. All right. Looks like the M3 has been absolutely hammered. So this should be an easy shell to put into him while he's reloading his magazine. Very good. Four and five. This is why I think, yeah, like... I'm not being a heavy tank right now, but I'm doing a very good job at being a heavy tank support vehicle. And that's what I was intending to do. So let's hope our Maxwell crew skill perk activates and we can pick up a kill on this dude. There we go. Maxwell crew skill activated. So we got the 550 Maxwell. Only 527 because he's lowering hit points, but that's good enough for me. Looks like there's also a Samoa over here, but you know what? If we can pick up a kill on this dude, very good. But Samoa should not be a huge issue. I'm actually more scared of the Yag Panther than I am of the Samoa. So let's see, is the Samoa going to pull around the corner? I don't want to get clipped out by the Samoa. He has like a 1,000 damage clip. So let's see which way he's looking first. Okay, he's not quite looking at me. So let's see if we can sneak a shell into his rear. Okay, not not HE, but we can definitely put an AP shell in. Very good. And oh, the Yag Panther's trying to shoot at me. Oh, nice. He tried to HE me. How unwise, good sir. How unwise. Let's see, APCR. Can't quite pen him with APCR. That's fine. Let us YOLO this dude. Because he is a little bit distracted. We'll probably take a shot. Oh, he missed. This poor, poor Yag Panther. Come here, Mr. Yag Panther. I want to farm you now. Let's pop the reticle calibration just so I don't have to aim. I missed my fire button when I intended to shoot. And since I spammed my fire button, I completely missed. That was a yikes. That was a really big yikes by me. Oh, well. Happens, I guess. <laughs> Let's put a quick track shot onto this dude. He should get taken out pretty quickly now. I shouldn't have to worry about him with the SU here. Very good. So... We did a good job clearing out their heavies. Unfortunately, it looks like my team got absolutely slapped on B. Our Bulldog, our Gravedigger died, and so did our CDC. I'm not surprised. Those are pretty delicate tanks, to say the least. So let us return to the B engagement and start eradicating the remaining ally enemy forces. So it looks like there's a T-25 pilot one there. Looks like there is also... Oh, I wonder if we can AMRAC this dude. He has a weak AMRAC. Oh, not quite. It's okay. I can pull back. The, oh yeah, the Chimera has a good reverse speed. It gets 20 in reverse. It's pretty nice, I will admit. Let us pull it back from this dude as well. Looks like the enemy team are trying to crossfire me out. Let us finish off this this dude first. He's a more dangerous target after all. 566 HE into him. That is massive. We're also going to avoid the crossfire from the T-34. Very good. Oh, we get hatch sniped. Good shot. Good shot, sir. All right, let's wait for this T-34 to give me a shot. And then we're going to try and Amarack him in this side. Let's see. Called it. Max roll crew perk plus high alpha damage. I totally called that. We were going to get the Amarak boys. Wait, I can YOLO. I need to YOLO for damage. I can't let the VK get him. VK, leave him to me. Radical calibration. No, the VK is totally going to catch him. Or the SU. They're way too fast. They're just... Yeah, they're dead. You're going to eat this food. I could have had close to 5k this game. Ah, well. It is what it is. Oh, wait. The SU messed up. Maybe the SU messed up just enough to give me the shot. The SU did mega mess up. Let's go. No, I low rolled. I low rolled. I'm not going to get my 5k, it appears. Wait, we can still get our 5k. This is one of my goals, guys. One of my goals is to get 5k damage. I gotta try. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Yes. All right. One of the achievements has been reached. We got the 5k damage. That was uh, one of my missions for today's stream. 5,023 damage. Also, the Amrak. That was nice. That was nice, but uh, very good. All right. So we had a good game, although we did have a very cringe shot on the Yag Panther. We don't mention that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Bobby got 640 alpha damage. <laughs> Bobby's got 1,625 alpha damage, to be exact. We bring Amrak. Yes. Hi, Fanis. What was the origin of your name? I've always wondered. It was a name my brother gave to my cat, who was rather chubby, to say the least. But he was also a very dignified cat. He had one of those personalities where he just commanded respect wherever he was. So his royal fatness was his nickname. And uh, 
I, I just uh, decided that's actually pretty funny. I'm going to make that my username. End of story. Super exciting. <laughs> Secret is Bobby is the true mastermind. <laughs> yes. Delicious Amrak. Yes. Now, nah, Bobby has 930 alpha. One second. I mean, time 200 dispersion. 300, 3,000 millimeters of armor. Goodness. Tattoo show. Yes. Uh, tattoo showcase, apparently. 1444. Yes. Just realized Fan has got a tattoo. Indeed. I've had this since I was 18. All those years ago. All right, so, hmm, we could try going on counter. I wonder if I can actually, let's see. Don't know if I want to deal with this in tier, so, um, I don't usually go med side. I might make an ex an, ex an exception. Uh, I'm still und undecided. I think I will try and help take med corner. I think the enemy team are pretty likely to send tanks med side, so that's why I'm going to take this engagement. There we go, LT. That's a defender. I actually don't want to deal with a defender in the corner. Let's activate our reticle calibration right now so we can hit this Gravedigger's lower plate. Put 100, 417 damage shell into him. Now, as you can see, my team's not with me, so I'm going to make the call that I should just escape right now. It, it might cost me a few hit points. That is true. But it's much better to get out of this massive crossfire while I can. Get myself as safe as possible. And uh, let's see if this sentier makes a mistake. We did at least track him. All right. Let's, let's, we might take a shot here. Yes, we escaped. Okay, so unfortunately, the enemy team had a very heavy presence in the A side, including the IS-3 Defender, which really put me off from taking this engagement, which is why I decided the best play for me at this point would just to be pull out from there. So let's see, Gravedigger is here. Let's put an H into his tat. I'm going to pull back. I am just hit. I'm just holding spawn for now because there isn't really much else for me to do. So let's wait to see if this SU makes any mis misplays here. Looks like the SU has pulled up just a little bit too much. We'll put a shell to his side. 430 into him. We're going to pull back from the LT. I do have support from the LT in the back. And the T28 can always turn and support me if necessary. But it looks like he's a bit distracted. Uh, I'm going to hug this corner for the time being. We're going to load APCR shell. Pick up a kill on this dude. I'm going to pull a little bit further into the corner. That way the enemy team are more inclined to shoot my allies than me. Well, I take that back. They still foolishly decide to overextend to shoot me, so this dude's going to get yeeted in the side. Now he's 70 hit points. Very good. Looks like this LT is really just determined to shoot at me, so I'm just going to sit back from him. Very good. And now my man's is a little bit overexposed, so uh-oh. Uh-oh moment. Oh, hello, IS-3. Let's put a quick shot onto you, sir. That IS-3 is really scary. I don't want to get clipped out by him, so I'm going to prioritize the IS-3. He's the most deadly target here. I have a smasher with me. So that's good. So now you can see why I, I made the rotation out. Like, right after I got the shot into the Gravedigger at the start, I made that fast rotation to get out of the corner because I knew I was going to get overwhelmed. I was keeping an eye on my allies who were all spread out in the A region. And if I tried to stay and fight, well, that just wouldn't have gone well for me. Oh, good shot for you, good sir. However, will it be good enough? Let's push down to the side of this defender here. Smasher's still alive, so as long as uh, he doesn't mess up and die, I think we should still be in a decent position to clutch up a win here. Although, I don't want to bleed any unnecessary shots for the time being. So, let's see. Defender's obviously on a reload, so let's put a quick shell into the front of his tank there. Very good. My last allies are just the Smasher. And it looks like the enemy team are retaking mid with the defender. I mean, uh, with the AMX there. So I'm going to try and kill this LT. Oh, he gets Amaract. How unfortunate for him. Very good. And I'm going to see if we can take out the AMX. The AMX is more dangerous. He has the auto loader. I want the smasher to hold position and cover me. Hold position, maybe. Oh, he's not going to do that, is he? Uh, how unfortunate. It's whatever. All right. Let's see. So we got an AMX in front of us. Let's put a quick shot onto him. I'm going to pop the adrenaline now. It's just me and the smasher. But uh, as long as we work together, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to win this. So... Hopefully the Centurion gets distracted by the Smasher right about now. Does not happen. That's fine by me. I'm going to pull back from this Centurion. All right. So Smasher is holding it outside. Me and the Smasher need to work together here. So we're going to have to both kill this AMX here. So let us pull forward. I'm going to put the first shot in here. I'll take the first shot as well. Nice. Smasher takes him out. We're going to pull forward just a little bit here. Try and get safe. I'm going to try and crossfire out this Centurion. Centurion's now overextended just a little bit, but it looks like he's making a break for cover. Good for him. He also bounced off the Smasher twice there, so... Oh, no. Smasher, hold your position. Hold your position, my guy. Don't die. I need the Smasher to stay alive. This is a bit of a, a sweaty game if he doesn't do... If he doesn't at least stay alive. So, let's see. We can both, we can both pull up here. All right. I'm going to act like I don't have a shot on this dude. Nice one, Smasher. Smasher puts a good shell into this dude. Apparently, I'm stuck on this ridge here. There we go. All right. Oh, wait till the Smasher is almost reloaded so this dude just doesn't straight up YOLO me. He messed up. Let's put a quick shell into his lower plate. Very good. Now, I can use this as hard cover to defend myself. Very nice. Very good. 
the Smasher played a really good game. I, I commend his efforts this battle. He did a good job. As long as I don't low roll or mess up this next shot, we should be golden to win this game. So, let's see. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's load up APCR. Very good. Good work to the Smasher, Russian. Tiri Sukhrover, I see. Hey, Russian Disaster. Thank you so much for the $20 donation. I sincerely appreciate it. All right, 4,700 damage dealt. I'm gonna upvote the Smasher. He did a good job that game. He came back to support me at spawn. He stayed alive a long time. That was good work by him. And that's two back-to-back -back aces. So we also achieved the ace challenge and the 5k challenge. So now I just need to maintain about 2,800 plus for the next, for the rest of the stream. And my challenges will be complete. What, what am I averaging this take? 92% win rate, 2,900 average. Not bad. <laughs> Bro, fan is already OP. Fanas, I'm the LT42 on your team. Enemies <laughs> said is stream sniping you right now. Said so in chat. Lol. Could you imagine? The heavy tank using a med slot. <laughs> Give me all your free XP and two packs of Newports. Hey, <laughs> according to some leaks in one of Pantus' vids, we might see a Tiger 2 defender. Uh, I hope not, but maybe, maybe we will. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, a lot of the things that Pantus leaks. I like Pantoof, but, um, you know, he made some leaks saying that uh, 62A is getting removed and the STB getting hired to new access suspension. Now, he did say it wasn't, it wasn't clarified, but none of those, none of those things are happening. I've confirmed with Wargaming myself. So, you know, whenever you, whenever you hear leaked news, always take it with a grain of salt, uh, unless it's confirmed by a Wargaming employee or someone who got confirmation from a Wargaming employee. That's, that's all I have to say. All right, there we go. So. We get a nice early shot into the Skoda. I do love how reticle calibration just removes aiming from the equation. Except for leading the shot, I pretty much had nothing to do to shoot that dude. Looks like he's gonna try and make a break for it. I can't really say I blame him. I'm gonna see if there's any way for me to spot him up while he's on his retreat here. There he is. Let's aim a shell into his rear. 438. Very good. We're gonna pull down in case there's any TDs around. But I feel like if there were TDs, they probably would have spotted gone spotted by now. So let's load the adrenaline and start dealing with the shark. Now the shark's being very aggressive here. He does miss a shell on me so I can push onto his side. And we've already dealt, what, 1600 plus damage. I, I just, yeah, this gun is just cracked. Sorry, 1200 plus damage. What am I talking about? I have to hit four shots to do 1600. All right, so we should have the adrenaline here, put a shell onto his side, 432, another great shot into the shark there. Looks like our heavy tanks are not doing so well on the heavy side. So we're going to have to work hard to make up for that because my teammates are going to be at a bit of a kill deficit soon. So here's the shark blowing across. Let's aim it outside of his turret here. Another 419 to his side. Very, very good. We also have a P44 Pantera up in the mid. Do I have support? Not really. So the Pantera theoretically could YOLO me, but if I take an intelligent approach to this fight and I go on the outside here, well, Pantera is not even really paying attention to me that much. So I should, I should be spotted right about now. Let's put a quick shot to his side while he's not looking. Very good. And looks like our teammates are killing off the TD. So we have lost heavy tank supremacy. I have a 54 behind me, so even if this Pantera tries to YOLO me, which looks like it won't won't work out for him, pop the reticle calibration. Let's see if we can pop an AP shell at least into his side. I am safe to pull through, so I'm going to chase after this Pantera just to make sure we can get him off of our flank here, because he could be definitely a big problem to deal with later on. So let's see if we can do anything about him. At the same time, though, if there's anything I can do about this dude. No, I can't. Okay. So Pantera's making a break for it. I don't really want to take a clip from this Pantera. It is a very bad matchup in terms of what my allies are doing, but if we can kill this Pantera with a max roll, then we might actually have a chance at succeeding, successfully winning this battle. So let's pre-aim for the Pantera. Here's the Pantera. He's tried to double cross me. Can't say that was a bad play by any means. And uh, let's see if we can if we can take him out with a nice little juicy max roll here. So we're gonna chase this dude down. There's nowhere else for him to run really. So let's. Hit him in the side. 388, 382. However, I now have the advantage because by the time he successfully tries to push onto me, I'm just going to wait till he's over all the way. Very good. We should be able to pick up a pretty easy kill on this dude in a moment. All right. It's two It's two versus practically everyone. This is really bad. I wish I had a low roll. If I had killed that Pantera, my life would be so much easier right now. It's rather unfortunate, actually. Mm, yeah, our 54 isn't going to be able to do much. He's, he's bone stock. I could still try for a dub though, boys. I could still try for a dub. It's a bit unlikely, but let's do our best, shall we? Oh, 54 picks up a pretty important kill though. I will say that. That was very valuable for my teammates. There's the Borsig. Let's see. The AMX is the most dangerous target, so I'm going to make sure we can farm him out. I'm not going to get myself stuck in the town. There's nothing I can do to save our 54 after all. It would just be suicide. So let's put a quick shell towards this AMX. Very good. 420 into his side. I think I still am unspotted. So let's pop the adrenaline so we can get maybe one more shell into this dude. No, he made the intelligent play and pulled out. So I might have just wasted my adrenaline here. There's a T34. Looks like he knows he's spotted. That's fine. Let's see. We might still be able to pull this off, guys. The first play would be to kill the T-34, but I'm gambling on a high roll to do so. 
So let's see if we can pull up to this ridge line here and spot him up real quick. Or maybe the boar sig as well. Or maybe the AMX. Oh, I got spotted. That's not good. Probably by... Okay, maybe the T-34 spotted me there. The issue is the AMX's position could potentially crossfire me out here. So let's just pull back. There's the AMX. Load up a shell for him. 416. I now have a position where I can go haul down safely. So let's pull back from this AMX again. Very good. AMX still has un not spotted me up yet. So that's nice for me. We are currently leading on cap points. Let's load up another shell for this dude. There we go. 400 into him again. This AMX... If he tries to continue YOLOing for me, that's not going to be very good for him. So let's just pull away from him. If I can avoid taking any shots at all right now, that will do me a load of favors. So, looks like someone's on B. Now's my play. We're going to go kill this AMX. We have no choice. So, let us see. Can we get a sneaky shot onto this dude's side? Very good. AMX kind of throw in a little bit there. A little unfortunate for his teammates. Uh, not so unfortunate for me, though. And uh, that just leaves the Borsig and whoever else is here. So let's see if we can get a snapshot into whoever was in B. There's the T-34. Get a snapshot into him. Very good. And so now, I have to kill this T-34 in a timely manner. And then, after we kill the T-34, we're going to have to try and rush to kill the Borsig. So, that was a really unfortunate shot to take there. Let's put a quick shell into this dude. Oh no, I had HE loaded for the T-34. I didn't even realize it. I messed up, boys. By shooting HE, he is now no longer in one-shot territory. That kind of sucks a little bit. There's the Borsig, though. Let's see if we can load up another shell for him. Very good. I would have one-tapped him if I hadn't loaded HE there. I'm a bit of a Muppet for that. They're both one-shots now, though. They're both one-shots now. If I can avoid taking the shot at all, that'll do me a load of favors. Okay. So, we got to try and kill this T-34. We're running out of time here. So, let's put a, a quick kill shot into him. And then we'll just cap out. Woo! All right, Aish, that's your 6,000 damage game for you. I did, you did donate in ahead of time for 6,000 damage. Voila. I hope you, appre I, I appreciate the donation. You knew it was coming. 6,000 damage. Call a ban of metal. Um, I think a pretty well played game. Indeed. I'm happy with that. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, luckily for me, the AMX was not the most experienced player. And so he kind of uh, went on a bit of a... Uh, a YOLO run there. It didn't go so well for him. But I'm happy. Rub Bobby for good luck. Very nice. That was a good game. The highlight of the Chimera. I can't believe I actually got the 6,000 damage game. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. Clutch. Yes. Use those as royal fatness emotes. By the way, if you don't know, I have a membership on the channel now where you can spam the emotes. The emotes are lit. We're going to do the Bobby emotes because Bobby emotes are best. There we go. 740. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. or oh, $10 donation because you donated earlier. I appreciate it. There we go. Bobby emotes for the win. <laughs> Please actually submit this, bro. That deficit. <laughs> Paid actors. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here's another. I appreciate it, 740. Your donation big game. Maybe it gave me the, the, the spunk I needed to win that game. Let's go. That, that's, that's, that was a good game. I'm happy with that. 6,000. I couldn't even achieve 6,000 damage on my mouse, dude. Apparently, I just suck at heavy tanks. I don't know. Feels bad. Fan has bribed them. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Get out of here. <laughs> No such things happened, right, guys? <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's spot at the crossing here. Medical calibration activated. Quick shot. Darn, we hit his tracks. I was going to say quick shot into his side, but uh, we d unfortunately, we done hit his tracks. Let's pull away from the Scorpion G. Very good. Scorpion G tried to yeet me, but it didn't work out for him. Now we know his positioning. That's very good for me. I'll wait for him to make that exact play again. Bop. Put another 450 into his face. Very good. Out play the Scorpion there. Now it looks like the enemy team have sent some heavy tanks this way. Hmm. Scary. Quiet. It's very scary. Let's see. Maybe we can... Uh, we might be able to sneak a shell into this dude. He just fired some. I feel safe. Uh, no, I missed my fire button. I keep missing my fire button. I don't know why. I keep making this Muppet mistake. <laughs> Like, I aim it at the lower... I, you know what? I think since I started playing with my iPad on the stand, I need to raise my fire button just a little bit. I think that will, I think that will be big assisto to me. All right. Scorpion is still a little bit in the open. Looks like he still wants to shoot me, so let's put another shell into him. Very good. The fire button seems to be better in that position. Very nice. Looks like the 252U is now being a little bit more aggressive, so let's put forward onto this fool and show him what's up. What's up, broy? What's up, boss? Let's put a shell into his engine deck. Oh! Oh! The max road fire! Oh! Oh, 780 damage dealt. Oh, that had to hurt. That had to hurt a lot. Owie. Owie. You know he hates his life right now. Okay. Oh, Scorpion. I... Why, Scorpion? I know you really wanted me, but that was a bit, uh... That was a bit of a YOLO on your part. Okay. So we got a Pershing to deal with now. Hello, Wild Pershing. 
Let us uh, try and retract him in the open. Very good. 448 down into him. We've already won this game, so we shouldn't be too worried right now. The AT-15 does have a lot of DPM, though. We do have to watch for him. Gotta watch for that cracked DPM on our boy over there. All right, let's put a quick chill shot on this dude. Very good. And uh, I should have saved my reticle calibration for the AT-15. I'm a bit of a Muppet. If I'd done that, I would have had a more guaranteed uh, time dealing with that AT-15's hatch. As you can see, AT-15A has a wee bit of armor. Let's put a shell towards his hatch. Unfortunately, we missed. It's okay. We'll just have to get close. When we're shot, we'll have 3k damage. Scorp sus. Cats are cool. Yes, I agree. Bobby, Bobby, mega cool. Bobby, best. Long live le Bobby. All right. Let us aim in at this dude's hatch fully. Uh-huh. Why? I should have had 3k damage this game. Ah! <laughs> Feels bad, man. Lucky to get 4k in the boss, to be honest. <laughs> right? What's your win rate and average damage, guys? Uh oh, we did get 3k. Because I got a fire on the 252U. Yay! My my win rate is 72.91, damage 29.39. And also my in my Chimera, we're 29.46, 93%. Yikes. Balanced. Balanced as everything should be. I'm sorry, Bobby. I'm talking way too loud. I apologize. Please do not be mad at me and uh, scratch my face while I'm sleeping tonight. Thank you. Fosh Tech Tree Showcase once again. <laughs> More gaming, please buff the Fosh. I pray you please buff the Fosh because the Fosh is, uh, is a big no bueno right now. I don't despise the tank, but it's not anywhere in the high, high section of the list of tanks I'd prefer to play in tier 10. I found Carnarvon Action X to be overrated. Me too. I think it's just called the Action X though, right? It's just straight up called the Action X. But um, I'm not a huge fan of it either, guys. I, It's good, but it's like, it's so boring to play. I mean, you're going like 30 kilometers an hour. You have good haul down capabilities and you're going pew, 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 pew. It's sad. Uh, it's not my thing. I don't mind the pew, pew type guns on light tanks where you're really getting around but it's just a little bit unbearable on some heavy tanks, you know? All right, reticle calibration for Mr. Tiger here. Bop, 446 to the side. I'm gonna keep spotting the crossing in case anyone else gets any ideas. There we go, there's a 112 here as well. 112 has not noticed me yet. We might be able to sneak a shell into him then. Let's see. Oh, he stayed in the open. Sneak a shell into his side, 450. Very nice, we've done about 900 damage with two shots. Very good, very good. And uh, Mr. 112 is still in the vicinity of uh, pain. That's what he's in the vicinity of. Okay, I can't spot him through the bush, so let's pull back from that. Hmm. We have an IS-3 over here. The Hori's up top. The Chito is over on our right. I'm gonna go help our Lova and our IS-3 clear out the side. So let's quickly try and see if we can half snipe. Okay, well, maybe not quite. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna safely cross over while they're not paying attention. Hi, please do not shoot me. I, uh, I kindly request that you do not shoot me. Thank you. All right. And so now, oh, I'm going to take a shot here because I'm a bit of an idiot and I way overdid my driving there. Okay. We're now in a position to to deal with these to deal with these fools. So put a quick shell to this T-34. Obviously, easily able to overmatch him. While this dude's a bit distracted, I'm going to try and cross. Right now, I'm just trying to get positioning. Good shot by the Tiger. I will give him that. But now I have positioning on this, on this dude over here. So I'm going to put a nice shell to his side. Catching him on fire. Oh, 600 damage with one shot with the fire. Oh. It is uh, spicy when you get max rolls with this tank. Seriously, guys. All right, we also have an, a tiger here. Oh, I, I missed my fire button again. I clearly suck at this point, guys. Let's put a shell. Oh, no. What? T-34 is coming back. Why? Okay, I really need to figure out my fire button. I'm just going to make it huge. I can't possibly miss it now, right, boys? What? What is your plan, my guy? What is your plan? Your plan is to YOLO and get yourself... Your plan is to die. His plan is to die. Okay, very good. Just leaves the IS-3 and the Tiger over here, so we should be able to clear this up. Okay, hopefully I stop missing my fire button like a complete Muppet. Alright, let's see. Mr. Tiger's not looking. Nice, get a clean kill shot into him. Chito is over on the rear now, but I don't think he's going to survive su super long. So let's pull forward, boys! And we will- Oh dear, that's a defender. He's going to cause a lot of problems to our- Or MX-1375 is going to cause a lot of problems to our, to, our, to our good old friend. Oh, HE! Oh, 520! 528 juicer HE into this poor Pepeka Piggy side. And the 112 is just fired. Which means I can kill him. Easily. Put a quick side shot into this boy. Very good. Nice. Easy damages. Easy, easy damages, my guys. Very good. I might be faster than the Lova here. Let's pop the reticle calibration. We might even be able to get another shell in. Very nice. Almost 4k damage dealt, I think. Man, the Lova is slow. 
I want to ram someone. Oh, yes, 48 ram damage. Very good ram. OP ram. <laughs> SC-130 is better than Scorpion. I prefer the SC-130, but the Scorpion is pretty hot. I just like the SC-130's kind of uh, mobility and slow, mo smaller profile. Very nice. 4,000 damage or so. Not too bad. So what are we averaging in, this, in the Chimera today? 34.50, 94% win rate. I think we're doing pretty good. The only, by the way, I'm just going to straight up say the only reason my... Uh, Win rate was so high in the Chimera, and my average damage was lower. It's because I platooned, like, the first 50 games with the tank. Because I was trying to get a 100% win rate. And for the first 50 games, I won every single battle. And then I lost two games in a row, and I saw I just... I gave up on that dream. But, um... If I had soloed the Chimera from the start, I'd probably have about 85% win rate, and maybe 3,100 or so average. Instead of 2,800. Actually, it's almost... 3k now. I started the stream at 2830 average. We'll see how it goes though from there. Alright. So, Emil's in the mid. We are facing a Ram Panza and a T43. Okay, T43 is just full sending into the cap right off the bat. Interesting play by yours truly. Oh dear, it's a Ram Panzer. Let's, let's load the reticle calibration, try and get a shell to him. That's fine by me. I don't mind if I miss out on that. I'd rather get safe first. Good shots. Good shots. Penning my turret. Pretty good job, boy. Uh, Pantera, we're about to get pushed on from behind. You should uh, come and support me instead. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, oh, gun depression. Play Chimera, please. My pleasure. I don't mind playing Chimera. Let's put a shell just T43. Very good. <laughs> Clean channel. Thanks for the donation. Uh, I would be happy to play the Chimera. Yes, it would be my pleasure. Why not? All right. T43, you done messed up, brother. We're going to put a shell to your side. Very good. Me and the Pantera now have a bit of a crossfire here, so we should be good to win this side. Um... Pan the TI-2 is about a two-shot. If I can, if the Pantera hits him, he is a two-shot. We can take care of this T-43 very quickly as well, who has gone a bit overextendo on the flank. I might go a bit overextendo to get the shot off, but I'd rather kill this dude. Very good. And now it's just this T-95, who's about to get flanked by a Progetto. So, I mean, by a Pantera, we should be chilling. We be chilling, boys. We be chilling. I wonder if we can max roll an HE on this dude. Oh, I can totally HE his side. Let's go. 560 HE. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Okay. Forward march, boys. Oh, hello, SU. What's our... Okay, I can't shoot him. Never mind. All right. Well, we're up 3-0. I think we got this game in the bag. Let's just... uh, Let's just pull forward through here. All right. I believe. I don't believe. That was a waste of my time. And maybe I'll miss out on a shot because of it. I don't know. This tank goes pretty fast. Every time I, I think I'm playing a heavy tank, and then I realize this tank actually has good mobility, and it throws me off. All right, Amir. Time for you to suffer. Take 377 to the face. Please don't bother shooting at me. I swear I am nothing but an innocent British man enjoying his tea. Very good. Yes, very good. Very good. Don't don't pay attention to me. Here, take another shot to the face. <laughs> very good. Very good. Now you will die. Okay, we gotta pull forward if we want any more damage on these heavy tanks here. Darn you. Darn you. You messed up your kill shots. Okay, I'll load up a max roll for my next shot then. Nice. Looks like the M6 is a bit interested in us, so let's pull away from him. M6 is just fired. M6 just got yeeted up the rear. Very good. Uh, with a little bit of radical calibration, we can do anything. So, let's see. M6 is not currently... What? Why is the back of his turret so heavily armored? What? You got a helmet? Why? How is the back of his turret so heavily armored? I don't... I, I, uh, I was just... Uh, I totally thought I was going to be able to hit. And then I hit some weird angle and completely missed. Go figure. And now this dude's just gonna YOLO to his death, so I can't get any more damage. Darn! Darn it! Stop YOLOing! I want to damage- Why? 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 Why couldn't you just stay in the corner and give me Z damage? Uh, maybe I should have just gone for the Charioteer. I can't believe- I can't believe, man. I- How is the back of the M6's turret so heavily armored that I can't pen it from a flat angle? I go out to the beach today. I don't plan on going to the beach. It's a bit cold out right now. It's like 40 degrees outside. Oh, a bit cold out, he says, in California terms. Meanwhile, you guys in Canada dealing with like minus 20 degrees are just laughing at me. All right, FE201, let's finish this British style. Let's go. What's up, Bumble? Oh, he took my tracks off. Is it good enough? Is it good enough to beat me? Ha! Yeet. Arandis, do you have any tips? I am big noob and can't advance or improve my skills. Um, well, one thing that I always recommend is try and watch good players play. So, 
That is always a tip. And just try and pick up on how they play, where they position themselves. Just try and keep an eye on how they read team lineups. I do try and explain that when I'm in games and I make a certain play. Sometimes I'll try and explain why that is. Um, those are very hand handy skills. The best thing you can do though, is just think about where you're lacking, where you need to improve. And what I did when I was starting up for a well, while, I still do actually, um, try and call out every mistake you can think of uh, when you make a when you're playing a game. So, for instance, on the Canyon match at the earlier side of the stream, I called out right. I didn't make the rotation fast enough there. Yikes! Um, and try and identify that. And now I know if I'm in a similar situation in the future, be prepared to relocate much faster instead of pulling back. And it's stuff like that that helps you improve because you'd be surprised blitz has a lot of repeating scenarios not identical every scenario is unique but you get a lot of scenarios where a similar play is made by an enemy team or your allies and you need to figure out with experience what is the best play you can make to work with your allies or counter the enemy team and once you figure that stuff out it's not too bad all right, so let's put a quick shot into the side of this panther too very good and so yeah that's always been my go-to advice always try and identify where you could have improved every game and exactly what you did wrong i think i do this mentally mo mostly but uh I you could also say it out loud if that helps all righty mr panther wonder if i can hit you aside not quite let's put an ap though very good all right so there's a fv4201 we don't have to watch out for that he has a lot of uh he has a lot of DPM. We don't want to get yeeted by his DPM. Now, let's wait till this dude gets maybe distracted. I should be on spotted right about now to put a quick shot into him. Nice shot by him. I don't know where oh, he hit my side. Good for him. And so, let's just chill out for a moment. T-34 is in the mid. This dude's pulling back. Every 301 really does need to get taken out sometime, though. I don't think I have shots on the Scorpion or the T-34. No, wait. I do have shots on the T-34 if he stays where he is. T-34, don't turn your turret. No, my allies are shooting him. So, now I won't get shots. Darn you! Darn you! CDC! Why? Why do you have to be there? Okay. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get a shot on the T-34. I should have just prioritized the FV-201 who is straight up YOLOing. Hmm, I wonder if we can HEM. No way we hit that! That was insane! What a beautiful shot! I dig it. I dig it. Alright, CDC... Should have this man's... I think. Let's see, put one more shot into him, CDC. I'll ram him for you. Ugh! There you go. Now I can save my shot for this dude. I did not get 3k this game. This game was an absolute sweep of a battle, but uh, I'll take it all the same. Uh, bump. Oh, I still did 7 damage. Let's go. Maybe we can get one more shot into this WZ. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's just get a kill shot into this dude then. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Minus 26 for you. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Fan is the whoopee instructor. <laughs> Yeah, I love also in Quebec, and yeah, today where it was like minus 27. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't tell. I don't mind cool weather, but that is just really cool. What is the weather temperature in California? Oh yes, we have highs of 59 degrees Fahrenheit, lows of 37. Oh dear, what, what atrocious weather I live in. And all sun. <laughs> Hello from Australia. In your view, it is possible to play pro level cop with thumbs only or is claw a must? Jimin, how's it going? Uh, actually, it's usually the opposite. Most professional players only play thumbs. I am one of maybe, maybe like one of five, maximum five comp players that I think I know out there that play with claw. So it's not actually that common. Uh, it doesn't make you necessarily better. It just depends on what you think works best with you. And so that's why I do run claw myself. All right, let's put a quick shot into this fool. Very good. Ew, 378, no roll. All right, Southern weather go brr. Watching from the Philippines. What's up to all the Filipinos out there? Oh, hello, Drac and Svea. Okay. Do we, do we make the play? So, Looks like one of the enemy light tanks is out of this fight. Oh, hello, FV301. Let's put a quick bop into his turret. Feels bad to be him, man. We'll pull away from the Dracula who's trying to shoot at me. And I'm going to start taking this high ground. Now, they don't have any TD, so I'm not really, really worried about that, you know? So let's put a quick shot into this Dracula here. Oh, 550 max roll. No, the RU's coming for me. Run right away. It's a wild RU to fight. Oh, what are you doing, Drac? He damages my ammo? Are you serious? I've never had my ammo rack damaged on this tank before. I called for... A refund. All right, let's put an H into this dude. No, I just messed that up big time. And now the Dracula is going to totally come for me as well. No, he's running. Good. That's a smart play by him. I don't think the enemy team can win this engagement, so they should be running. Darn. 
I have 50 seconds of a excessively long reload. Oh dear, that's not good. Okay, I you know what? I just gotta get out of here at this point. Let's go for the RU and Svare first. But uh, we need to we need to run away from this crossfire I'm running into right now. Dang, this is so this is so scuffed, guys. This is so scuffed. No, how is this build? Ah, dang it! I can't drive apparently. I gotta run away. I have no I have absolutely no hope of winning this. So let's just uh, slowly. Make our escape. My team has somehow also lost the, the bridge engagement, though. Yeah, my team is really not doing too well. We gotta kill this tiger. You can see the RU is coming up behind me. That's fine by me. Because he's probably just gonna straight up YOLO, knowing players like him. We think RU is a YOLO burr. So let us wait to see if he makes that play. Put a quick shot onto him. Now he's about a one shot. So I should be able to escape from here. We can fix my armor as well. I'll take another shot or two. We took one shot. And now we've escaped. Very good. Okay, we should be safe right about now. Very good. All right. That was a bit of a messy escape by me. I kept running into objects because I'm very talented at driving. As you can see, I am the very, I am the epitome of a good driver. But um, this game is still recoverable. Luckily, we do have some positioning here. If I can get a nice shot into the side of this RU, very good. Pick up a queen kill on him. He was a bit yolo-y for his own good. He should have played more passively and he could have had a better chance at uh, dealing damage this game. All right, so Svare is still a problem. I believe the Svare is like 300 alpha. Um, so we do want to watch out for that. I don't want to overpeak this by any means. There's the Svare. I want to prioritize the Svare, so let's put a quick shell onto his side. Very good. We'll also watch out. Okay, so the Drax on A, that's good to know. And now I have a Tiger to deal with, with only an ISU for support, so that's not very good. All right, so we're going to kill the Severe and then just drop off. So here's the Severe, let's aim for a side. Very good. Dracula does put a shell into me, unfortunately, but I'm just going to pull down from here, try and get safe before that Dracula can put any more shells into me. And then we're just going to run away and try and get to wherever our VK is. Although this is not looking very good. This is not looking very good at all the boys, because now my gunner is dead. If it's not one thing, it's another thing on this tank. Feels bad. British model modules. All right, at least we can fix that. Hold your position. All right, okay, that's not too, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Very good. All right. Here's the bet: the Dracula is probably gonna try and flank us. That's the logical play for him to make. We have a cap. They have a cap advantage, so he doesn't need to do anything aggressive. But I would not at all be surprised if he does try. Dang, I got spotted there. No, I didn't. Okay. Hold your position. I need this dude to stay alive. There's the Dracula. Very good. All right. Let's see if he makes a mistake here. I'm not spotted, so he's about to make a mistake. Perfect. And now I just have to play whoever can get the distance engagement in to win this. So the best play for me right now, I think, would be to take this hold on position to here. I need to give myself about 10 seconds to hit him and then pull beyond cover to get the win here. So. As I'm sure he's probably going to play rel relatively aggressive. Let's see if he goes up the mid or not. We, I'm just taking a far back position because I'm sure he's going to YOLO for me. There we go. One shell went. Adrenaline popped. I should be able to win this engagement now. There's no way he can catch up to me before the, before the time's out. So. Let's see if he goes for it. Right, he has not quite gone for it. The issue is the enemy team do have supremacy advantage here, so... And the, this tank does have a lot of armor, so... If I'm going to do this, I don't want to get baited at all. But yeah, he's in a perfect hold on position here. Perfect. And that's how you pull up that clutch. Uh, Zol, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. Enjoy! The stickers, I appreciate the support. Another sweaty Chimera game, but we clutched up. How many sweaty games have I clutched up in the Chimera today? I feel like I've been doing this too much. Too much for my own good. The only reason why we were able to win that is because I ran away when I did. That was a pretty messy game by me. I ran into a lot of objects. I um, <laughs> got my AMRAC damage. I messed up an HE when I shouldn't have. A lot of things did not go well that game. Kind of my plays, but we did manage to really pick up our performance towards the end. So that's all that matters. All right. G uh, yo, GG from New Zealand. Thank you. GG to all the uh, epic New Zealanders out there. Nice clutch. Thank you, Shootin' Sabath. Bonk. Yes, indeed. So now we're back at 3.4K average on this, on this obviously underpowered tank. Okay. FE301, do I have support? I have not really any support. Okay, that's good to know. So I really just shouldn't take this fight in the end. 
In the end, with the Chimera, you don't want to get isolated from your teammates. So as our T49's not headed this way, as no one's headed my way, we're gonna go and just Blitzkrieg the Heavy Alley instead. I think that's gonna be the play here. So let's see, is this dude gonna make any plays? I don't think so. This isn't so bad, actually. If you can take capture control and then kind of take heavy tank control, it's a lot easier to fight from the heavy side in, in a lot of scenarios because there's all these hills you can go hold out on. So let's work on killing Mr. Tiger here. Reticle calibration, aim this in fully. That one, okay. Ricochet pens, I'll take that. I'm gonna make sure I pull through all the way in just a moment. That way I can avoid being crossfired out from the mid. Tiger is just fired as well. So that means, oh, this poor tiger, he's bone stock. I feel so bad for him. Put another shell into this tiger and pull away from him. Very good. And now we can start pressuring the heavy tanks. Oh my goodness. The entire art, the entire squad is headed this way. Look how many tanks we have here. We have like four dudes here. Just waiting to bomb these unsuspecting heavies. Let's put a shell into this dude. Tiger's gonna go down fast. There you go, he's already dead. So I didn't really feel like I needed to waste any extra time on him. Um, sorry, here, I'll, I'll give you a good shot, VK. No, VK, how'd you mess that up? Okay, H-E-H-E-H-E-H-E. -E 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 -E. Well, not really worth it. Dang, that was my max roll, too. All right, look at this sandwich I am in. I am in a sandwich. I can't move. I can't even pull away from this dude's side. I love gameplay mechanics. Oh, ho. hello, Kanon and Yagpanzer. He hits that, and, and my rather thick VK blocks me. Kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Kind of sad. Also not gonna lie. Oh, what? Good shot, I guess, but uh, you're also way too fat to be holding that ditch, my guy. Not fat shaving your tank. I'm just saying it's way too fat to be holding that ditch, that's all. Alright, Scorpion G. Time for you to make a massive misplay and think I'm not paying attention to you. But in reality, I am. As we take half of his hit points off with one shot, he also gets yeeted by a T-34, very good. I'm just gonna go pressure T-43 because I am a filthy damage farmer. This is what I do. I am selfish. I'm going for damage because... I low-key want to, uh, I want to get epic damage in the Chimera. So, let's see. Are we able to HE this poor boy? We can't. It's okay. But you know what? It don't matter. Let's, uh, let's have you back up this way, buddy. Let's have you back up this way. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, yes. Give me a little love tap as well. Very nice. Nice shot on the rear as well. Oh, 550. Spicy. Well, that was a fast game. Uh, a non-sweaty battle. Amazing. Oh dear, guys. This tank. 95% <laughs> win rate, 3.4k average, 20 games in. It makes me wish I'd never played it before, but my career average in it is 93%, 29.70. We might be able to get to 3k, 94% by 100 battles. If we do that, that's... For a tier 8, that's really good. Farm Simulator. Indeed, we. <laughs> Hi, his world. Hello, Shadow... Bobby. What clans do you recommend for me try to join in order to get back into the Blitz? 55% NA, and I don't know a whole lot about clans and NA. I'm gonna be straightforward with you. Clans are a bit... Uh, can be a bit overrated. Um, I think most players, at least that take seriously joining clans, is for competitive play. But um, you don't have to super overthink it. Unless you're trying to get into a clan with like better players that you can play with and ask for tips, in which case you can definitely do that. But otherwise... Um, I say just find something that really suits you, and then, you know, if you want to get competitive with Blitz, worry about getting better clans later. Okay, so, I see an opportunity here. Let's load in a shot into the side of this KPZ-70. Very good. We do know they have an SC-130. We'll have to keep an eye out for him. There's also an LT on the inside of town, but for the most part, it looks like the enemy team went ruins. That's fine. Alright, so, SC-130 could be in this bush. True. Or maybe it's a, it's a TVP. Let's put a quick shot onto his side. Very nice. Um, I'm surprised they didn't spot him sooner. He was like outside of the bush. I think the, the, the gameplay plan here is we are kind of stuck in our... Sp oh, that's good news to know. This SU is way overexposed here. Let's put an HE into him. Oh, 550. How can a medium tank have this much alpha damage with reticle calibration with 10 degrees of gun... It just doesn't make sense, Wargaming. This tank doesn't make sense. It's just so good. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> My goodness. I don't want to get stuck on any major crossfires here, but we are going to pressure out this LT-432 here. Let's put a quick shot onto his side. Oh, 550 again. Oh, I just did 1,100 damage with two shots with this vehicle. It's insane. All right. So it looks like the IS-8 is not looking at us. That's good news for me. He should get spotted up any moment now. Oh, oh, hole. Oh, no, I messed up my HE because I missed my fire, but 490, 490, that's insane. Okay, go get him, IS-6, go get him. Be a big brain player. 
Go get him, boy. I'm gonna shoot this ISA. He's more dangerous. Okay, you know what? I'll just pick up a kill. At that point, I didn't really have an option. Oh no, I'm getting crossfired out by the sheriff over here. No, sheriff, I'm not doing anything illegal. Why do you harass me? Okay. So, T2065 seems to be distracted. SC-130 we know is on half his health because he's having a really good time after getting yeeted by me. Um, looks like the SC-130 is in the open's lower plate. We just double tap that dude. I mean, how many tier 8 medium tanks can double tap an equal tiered heavy, uh, equal tiered tank destroyer? It's just insane. It's straight up insane. Let's catch this dude on fire, maybe. 550 again! Oh, goodness! This alpha damage! It's just like, it's too good to be true sometimes. My goodness, insanity. <laughs> Farm fest, insanity. Ugh, this tank. This tank is clearly underpowered. It clearly needs a buff, guys. Okay, it needs a buff, like, right now. Uh, this tank is not strong at all. There is no need for you guys to start spamming it in tier 8, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, fat ass. I need to get some sleep. Already 344. My guy, get some sleep. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Look, man. Ooh, 315 likes. Good job, boys. You broke the 300 like mark. What's your that 400 like mark next? Play stock ho re t2. Uh, no, no, thank you. I am not so ambitious on that. I think the new Russian light spotting mechanic will be very bad for the game. Yes, I hope they don't implement it. These rolls, bro. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Fennis, will you do a showcase about the T1LT next patch? Of course! Of course! It's a new tech tree, and it's light tanks! There's no way I would miss out on that. I got- I'm definitely gonna do an LT100 showcase. Add tungsten and shells on it. You're right! You're right. This isn't- this is clearly not enough. This tank needs tungsten and shells so it can do like 480 dan- 480- so it can have like 480 or so average damage. What is your tattoo? It is a tiger. There we go. Sorry, the mirrored lens always confuses me. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see. Hmm, so the rack is over there. Oh, the scorpion crossed. Oh, there's also a T26E4. Oh, no, I'm spotted by Mr. Blask. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Sadly, not able to hit him. Let's pull back from this. So, 225, that's the Amex 1390. They have a scorp in the corner. Looks like the scorp's pulling up a little bit aggressively, so let's keep an eye on him. I think he's just going to pre in my bush. I should be unspotted right about now, so let's put a blind shot in towards him. No, he must have pulled back. Smart decision. Smart decision. All right, I'm just going to hold this rock for now then. Imagine going to bonk 550 plus. Yeah, ex exactly. This is what balance looks like, right, boys? All right, let us yeet. No, the HE shell velocity was just a little bit too low. My reload was a millisecond too late. I am on zero damage. This is uncool. I should have like 2k damage by now. Why am I on zero? All right, we can at least hit this dude while he's crossing, right? There we go, 390, 398 into him. Okay, so our Panther 2 is in a bit of a bit of a tight position there. It looks like most of the enemy team is either in town or overlooking A. Oop, is the Super Pershing gonna crush? Sorry, Super Pershing, the Pershing, is he gonna crush? No, he's not gonna cross. Let's wait out for just a moment. I, I, I need to wait to see how the situation develops before I try committing to his side too much. Oh, hello, Scorp. Why would he pull forward? No. Actually baiting me. Darn. Oh, wait. What is this man's doing? Yeah, that's right. Get away. Wait, the IS-3 is down here as well? All right. Let us put a quick shot to him. Oh, my good. LT, why are you pulling forward? You should have pulled back. It would have been so much safer, my guy. <laughs> Didn't mean to bump into you there, but it's kind of like, why are you sitting in the... Uh, in the... Uh, open side. The enemy team clearly have a bunch of tanks over there. He would have been safer hugging this corner and dealing with the 53 TP that was looking at us, but it's okay. It's okay. He's still alive. That's the good... Okay, well, he's alive for now. Let's see. Rack is probably gonna finish our, our homeboy off over here. Oh, he's still alive. Let's push onto this rack. It's gonna aim that one in. All right. Very good. Very good. My team should have... Yes, we are down currently on points, but we should be fine. I mean, yeah, the 53 TP is already dead. It's IS-3 down here. This is... This be chilling. Um... I don't really want to take a shot from this dude, though. Because the score is so close. You see? Maybe I can bait him. Maybe I can bait him. Come on, get baited. Get baited. You know, I'll let the SU deal with him. I don't want to take the shot. Alright, very good. I'll kill him. Hey, Finus, good evening. Sorry I'm late. Uh, love Chimera. Looks like you're having fun. GG's. Thank you, Neff. I appreciate it. Oh, really? The 53 TP is still alive? You guys didn't kill him yet? Dang, now I'm going to be in a crossfire here. 48 HE into this dude. Very good. We're gonna pull back from the Chimera. I mean, from the Barask. Oh, wait, Barask still has shots on me. Alright. Barask might have made a bit of a mistake here, though. 
I'm gonna put an AP shot in because he's a three shot regardless, so HE wouldn't make a huge difference. We need to kill this Brass. Enemy team have a mega cap lead on my allies here, which is not good. I'm gonna go for the Brass because it's gonna be harder for him to run away, and he also has a more deadly magazine. Oh, you know what? If we can. Oh, I need to pick up kills here, but I don't really have shots in the Scorpion, so I'll put one into the Super Persh. Alright, there's two one shots in front of us. Theoretically, we can pull this off. Very good. One, one of them's down. And now that just leaves Mr. Borat over here. Now wait, make sure the scorpion can't shoot at me. Very good. Oh no, he does shoot at me. Dang. Okay, I'll kill the, I'll kill the Borat then. I don't have much of a choice here. And then we'll pull through and get safe from the scorp. Very good. All right, this game was a little closer than it should have been. Mostly the supremacy points, and I missed way too many shots off the bat, which kind of sucked. But hey, in the end, we should still have the dub here. Very good. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Neffy, for the donation. I super appreciate it. All right. What other games do you play other than Blitz? I'm not really much of a gamer outside of Blitz. Big surprise. I have studies to do and stuff like that and other activities I do. <laughs> You're a spy three seconds before the light comes on, so a total of 13 seconds. Yikes. <laughs> Now, Chimera is fine. Sent Rack is more OP for me. I don't know about that. Hey, Bobby, you're such a cute. Oh, oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Hi, Let's sweetie. Go. Hi. Did I disturb your rest? Hmm? Aww. She's seriously the best, guys. This is this is why I've been performing so well. Simply because I have Epic Bobby here hmm? to uh to keep me happy the entire time. This is this is the this is the real hack. Have a Lababi on your team or with you at all times, and you will play like a pro. This has been confirmed by by his royal fatness, not worrying me, but by his royal No, dang it, I was looking away for a moment. I am a real Muppet. Oh well. Look, Bobby has left us though. Here's where things turn down. Here's where things start going downhill, boys. The Bobby has the Bobby's left us. Also, my team is straight up just yellowing over here. I need to help out. I didn't think they were going to be this aggressive. Yikes. Okay. They'll, they're doing a good job, though. I will give it to them. Let's just jam your turret real quick, good sir. Look at how much armor the Rampanzer has on the front. It's actually a really good tank. I enjoy the Rampanzer. It's not perfect, but it, it has a good amount of armor for what it is. See, as, as I bounce like an idiot off of him. Because you can't really shoot the plow on that tank. It get, it gets you quite often. You get a lot of bounces with that vehicle. It's, it's, uh, it's a better super pushing, in my opinion. Oh, hello. Let me just aim this in. Darn. Why would he pull forward now? I wasn't even... It's not like you knew I was here. You weren't even looking. Okay. Let us... Oh, this game's gonna be over so... Why do I keep running into rocks? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Aim, aim, aim. Oi. I told you. Once the Bobby leaves, things go downhill fast. We have missed, like, three shots here. Perhaps this is the end for us, guys. Perhaps this is the end. <laughs> Maybe this is where things go downhill in the Chimera. Oh my goodness, I can't even get here fast enough to deal damage. I've just been out of the fight the whole time. I wish I'd gone heavy side, I would've had more farm at least. This KV3 is gonna get yeeted by, kit by the T49 before I can really get to him. Oh, nice, I got a shell into him, nice. You got him T49, you just fired. It's okay, there's still a lot of hit points left in this game, we can still manage, even though this was uh, a very uncool gaming experience for a few minutes there. All right, let's see. Mm Really? I thought this dude already fired. You gotta be kidding me. Bruh. I thought the I thought the 50 TP already fired. I got uh I got baited by this food. Alright. Well I know he's probably reloaded by about now, so. I don't mind making him a one-shot though. He's dangerous. So let's make him a one-shot. Nice 149. Good work, my guy. Now it just leaves this dude who's pretty much dead. So I'm gonna put a shell to the defender because I need damages here. Oh max roll and a fire! Oh, Oh, seven, 750. He did not have a good fire extinguishing crew. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This dude's just like, I hate my life. Oh, another fire. <laughs> By the way, that's where the fuel tanks on the 252U are. Just so you know, that's where the fuel tanks are. So if you want a brain on 252Us, aim right there. And so we actually managed to fix our damage with two massive fires. Good. <laughs> Oh, she left. You're done now. I know. Bobby, where are you now? I'm trying to get Bobby's attention. It is not working. 
350 likes. Good job, guys. She said 400 like mark. Make it happen. <laughs> Do you live by yourself with Bobby? Uh, no, no, I don't. <laughs> Being spotted for 20 plus seconds in a TD or slow heavy will be a nightmare. I know, it doesn't need to happen, but uh, hopefully Wargaming can figure it out. Justice Fire. Yes, Justice Fire. So I'm wondering with the new Russian lights, whether overall spotting time will be like 20 or 23 seconds. Uh, I don't think it really matters. It's over. It's like 20 seconds or, or more. It's, uh, it's all that matters. It's way too much. It doesn't need to happen. Don't make it happen, Wargaming. The Soviet lights as they are are already incredibly strong vehicles, so I don't know why. Why why Wargaming would give them such a special feature as an extended spotting range when you shoot a vehicle. If asked, do you think the Russian LT mechanic change to uh, consumables will be still be up here or will it be balanced? A consumable. A consumable could is feasible. I don't think that would completely break the game. I think having it as a as a base feature on the tank is a big no bueno, but uh, as a consumable, sure, because then you have to sacrifice something. Like, you have to sacrifice your adrenaline or a repair kit, and then it's a little bit better off. But the fact is, the tanks, at, in their current state, at least during the open test, um, they were just left in a broken state. So, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so, IS-6. Dang, the IS-6 crossed! Wow! My man actually full sent it! I'm impressed! Okay, let's go defend A, boys. What's up, bro? Put 400 into him. I'll have to watch out because they have TDs back there, but it looks like Mr. Pantera is a bit intent on capping. So that's good for me. I'll wait till I'm unspotted, which should be right about when I'm reloaded. And then we would bop this dude again. Oh dear, poor Pantera. There's a bat chat. So maybe not a TD, but there's definitely a bat chat up there. That's a bit interesting, isn't it? You don't usually see Le Bachantillon up there. All right, let's see which way he runs. Put a nice shell into him. Very good. There's also an IC on the hill. I am still unspotted though, so that's I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm sure the IC is gonna pull down, but I don't think he's gonna get into cover in time, right? Oh no, he made the right play. I thought he was maybe gonna back up, but he didn't. Good play by the ISU. Waffenträger could still be in the vicinity. I'm not gonna YOLO. There's no point in dying. Looks like our team is getting baited by the IS6 dude over there. I'm impressed that the IS6 stayed alive as long as he did. And uh, as for me, I'm gonna take a semi-passive play this game. Oh wait, let's see if we can put a, a shell into this ISU. Dang! I didn't think he would pull forward into the LT, and now I'm spotted? How did he spot me? Really? No, it was the bat chat that spotted me. Okay, I see. It's okay, we got a crossfire now. We're chilling. I'll pick up on the ISU because he's a dangerous target. Is he bat chat? Uh, we still need to know where the waffle is. I think the waffle's in that corner because he didn't shoot at the T-54 uh, yet. And if he was in the vicinity, he totally would have yeeted the 54. So let's put an H into his bat chat. Very good. Bat chat should be on reload right about now. Looks like he's running the 90 millimeter. No matter what, this bat chat's dead. So I'll just pick up a kill on him in a moment here. So, oh, good job, 54. I just load up an HE for him. Very good. And that just leaves the VK, the IS-8. And I'm sure the waffle is in their spawn somewhere. So let's see. I guess I'll go for the IS-8, because we still have a, a sheriff up on the hill up top. So let's go for the IS-8 here while he's not paying attention to me. What? Wh what happened to him? He wasn't even spotted, and then he's just dead. He's dead already. Insane. Man's is insane. Max roll maybe? Not quite, but I'll take it. If this IS-8 wants to chase me, he'll put himself in the crossfire with the sheriff. I could ignore him for now, and there's really nothing he could do about me. I'm going to see if there's anything I can do about this VK, though, because I know the VK is in the vicinity. He was pulling forward, so let's see. VK is sitting sideways. Put it... Uh, RNG was not, not with it for that shot. I'm not going to get any damage on this dude. He's just going to put it back until he dies. Oh, dear. No, oh, why would he stop now? Oh my goodness. I thought he was going to keep pulling back, but he just sits there and he, oh, I can't comprehend some players. Dang it. I didn't get the damage I wanted. I spent way too much time picking up kill shots. <laughs> but the 54 needed help. I'm pretty sure the bad shot would have out-reloaded him. Dang, 2.2. What a low damage game. I'm just kidding. I still have 3,300 average in this tank. There's no need to complain. <laughs> if I had to the big guns, the tank top. Indeed. <laughs> the, uh, the pew pew. The pew pews. All right. How do you feel about the 112? I send it has 330 effective on turret and 270 on hull. Uh, it seems like a good tank. I've only played it a couple of times. I got it from like one of those random crates you get sometimes, but uh, I, uh, I, I'm I just not super interested in very generic Soviet or Soviet knockoff style heavy tanks for the most part. 
at tier 8 because there's just so many of them. Vance, do you think this tank is the most OP tier 8? Hmm, I wouldn't say the most OP. I would say it certainly is one of the strongest tier 8 meds though. It's either this or the Progetto. I don't think any other tier 8 med can compete with those two tanks in terms of just how strong they are on the whole. They're very different types of strong though. The Chimera has its strong alpha, its, you know, trollless turret armor. That's what makes the Chimera strong. What makes uh, the Progetto strong is its autoloader, its good accuracy, its DPM. So they're strong for different reasons. But uh, for me, the Chimera is, is my personal favorite out of the bunch. I'm going to try and take the bridge here. See, I thought the 54 might be reloading his magazine, so as he is doing so, I can take bridge safely. That was the right play to make. Let's put a quick shot into him as well. Very nice. Outplaying the top tier medium tank on the enemy team there. Poor dude. He is now taking the bridge himself. If it comes to it, I, I as a Chimera, can easily outtrade this 54 shot per shot. So I don't mind taking a shot for shot trade if I have to. So let's see. If there's anything I can do about this 54. 54 made a mistake. Let's put a track shell towards him. Not quite, but uh, he should be dead to the KPZ soon. The K91, we'll have to keep an eye out for him and the Pershing. Looks like our VK168 is getting hammered here by everyone on the enemy team. So that's a bit scary, isn't it? The IS6 is also waiting for me. So let's see. Is there anything I can do about this IS6? I wonder. Maybe with a little bit of reticle calibration, we can... Oh, nope. I did not free that shot well enough. All right. And now here is where I have to start backing up into a safer position. So... Let's just pull away from Mr. K91. If he wants to push on me, he'll have to push on the rest of my team. Very good. And so that just leaves Mr. K91 here. Let's put a quick shell into him. He has maybe two shots left. I'm just going to keep pulling back in the cover here. They are shooting at our Yag Panther for the time being. If that K91 fires another time, he's on reload. So the K91's on a full magazine reload now. Um, so I'm not super worried about him. I, I should probably not take excess shots right now, but uh, I guess I'll put a shell into this Pershing. We're going to pull back to the left. As you can see, my team is getting map control on this left-hand side. So if I just scurry on over to the left here, I should easily be able to retake some map control. My goal is going to be taking the bridge, but we have to wait to see what this K91 does. K91 appears to be going for a Waffenträger. While he's doing that, I don't want to abandon a Waffle. I can't really keep him alive, but I certainly can get some map positioning on these unsuspecting foods. So let's see, K91 might make a mistake here. We do get a track shell into him, very good for me. Looks like our E75 is getting yellowed by a Pershing. If there's anything I can do about that, I would love to. Um, so yeah, I6, Pershing is yellowing down low. Looks like we can probably HE him up. Oh, can't quite HE, max roll maybe? Not quite, I'm gonna go for the Pershing as he's the kind of higher HP target over here that or lower HP target I can take care of. E75 is full HP, we don't have to worry. As long as our E75 is chilling, we don't have to worry about him at all. So I'm going to go for the Pershing now. I don't think the M4 is quite all there in terms of uh, abilities. So let's see. M4 didn't notice me. They get a nice shot into him. Very good. I can pull back here. Now our E75 is making a bit of an unwise play. But what I'm going to do is we're going to ignore the M4. Or we're just going to go straight for the K91 here. So once this K91 cl clips out, he's done for, right? So maybe a high roll. Very good. And there we go. So now it's going to be a 1v1 here. Hopefully E75 can stay alive. Very good. He's still alive. And now I can just chill and pull around the side of this M4 here. There's nothing you can do because he has to angle up to the E75. So let's aim for maybe a field shot. There we go, 439. He does have me on DPM, but I still have more hit points and a potential one shot if I max roll my next shell. So let us just take it easy. We have time. There we go. And so here's the M4. M4 is just fired. We can aim for his lower plate. Max roll for the kill. A solid performed game. I think I made the right plays there. In terms of target selection, when to back down, when to pull forward, and really worked around my heavy tanks there for another ace, four and a half thousand damage. Very good. Very good. This tank, man. This tank is, uh, this tank is just juiced. It's juiced. Fantasy, do you think 1 to 1 is better? Is the best tier 10 med? Certainly not, but it's one of my favorites. Um, in terms of the best tier 10 med, it's very dependent on what you consider in a vehicle. So for me, I may say, yay, Leopard 1's best tier 10 med, and then you try and you're like, goodness, this tank is dog. I can't play it. It's awful. Well, yes, I may consider Leopard 1 to be one of the best meds in tier 10. But that's purely because it's what suits my playstyle. It does have the highest DPM and best accuracy for a tier 10 med and some of the best mobility. And for me, that's all I need in a tank to like it. But, you know, other players will find the lack of armor to be atrocious. And they'll say the E50M is the best tier 10 med, or other tanks will say the 62A is the best tier 10 med. It's really difficult to have a concrete best med because they're all very strong. And for the most part, medium tanks are, are well balanced. There isn't a lot of just, you know, like, oh, this is just an outrageously broken med. 
in tier 10, for the most part, the meds are pretty balanced. So that's why I don't think there's really a all-out best tier 10 med. Let's we'll see if there's a scorpion there. Dang it, it's the moment I took my blind shot, he pulls forward. All right, so we got the heavy tanks here with us. So we chilling. We chilling for now. Uh, Mr. 252U looks like he's uh, intent on just pre-aiming over here. Let's pop the reticle calibration, as I know his lower plate's going to be exposed. Dang, I hit, ah, I hit his tracks. Darn, it's okay. I just hate wasting my re what? What are you doing, 53 TP? Why? Why would you do that? Se you're on 700 hit points to shoot me once. What on earth is that about, my guy? What on earth is that about? 700 hit points lost to shoot me once. Bro. Oh my goodness. Heavy tanks, can you just counter push him? This dude is making such bad plays here, and no one else is on the team wants to push him. Seriously. He's, on a, he's in an awful position. He's on 700 hit points. He should be an easy... Easy clear for y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know you guys want to shoot me, but seriously, these are not intelligent plays you're making. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Do, 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 do. I know the Scorpion's on reload because he shot one of our dudes already, so I'm just going to pull forward to cross the 252U out. My goodness, that was rather unfun, getting just kind of a little bit tunneled there. Let's put a shell on this dude's side. Very good. And uh looks like... <laughs> They're still trying to kill the 53 TP. Oh, man. <laughs> they still haven't killed him yet, but it's okay. Um, we now have corner control here. 252 is just fired. He's going to pull through and give me rear shots, so yeet. 414 there. Very good. I can back down to this corner if necessary, but I don't think the 252 uh, is going to cause me any significant issues for the time being because my man's on a trip to Narnia, okay? So he's just, he's just chilling. All right. He's gone. He's gone for now. Looks like the... Pershing might be considering me. If that's the case, he's gonna get maybe yeeted by one of our TDs, but it looks like our TDs have forsaken me. And one of our homies just yellowed to his death. Okay, this is actually really bad for me now. Why would our T why would our TS5 run away now? We'll put a nice maxwell track shell into this dude. We're gonna try and angle up to him just a little bit here. Very good to get a single bounce. Now I have a possibility of actually winning this 1v1. So reticle calibration. Alright, let's wait for him to start pulling forward. There we go. Nice shot onto his hatch. Just waiting for him to make the, the drive into me. TS5, you're a legend. Help me. Thank you, TS5. Okay, still... Oh, dear. Our team is not looking good in terms of hit points. Oh, man. This is not good. Nice one, dude. Uh, We're gonna have to take it easy. The issues are still 252 on the flank. So, let's see. The Scorpion is spotted up for now. The 25... The, looks like these, the Scorpion might be giving me a bit of a shot here. No, I don't don't think we're gonna hit that. Oh, we, we can definitely pick up a kill on this dude. Okay, maybe not yet. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare, buddy. And also, the 252 is definitely flanking me. So, let me see. I have a safe route to escape if he tries to pull out on me. Nice. TS5 yeets him. Very good. So, my teammates are doing all the work here. I think I was good bait for the most part, though. You know? That's at least how, uh, that's at least how I make myself feel better. I was bait. Alright, I just gotta check to make sure that 252 isn't making any bad plays here. I'm... I don't think he's gonna pull forward. Looks like our TS5 has that under control. Good. I just wanted to be really cautious this game because I've lost all my hit points unnecessarily. Let's try and track this dude. Oh no, unfortunately I messed that up. All right. Okay, he just died. I'm gonna YOLO across while the 252 use, uh, while the Scorpion's on reload. I need to get across as quickly as possible. He has about a 10 second reload, so let me just pull in. Faster, faster. No, I took a shot there. It's okay, we can kill the 252U. Uh, no, why would he be intelligent enough to go for the one shot? Darn it. I was banking on this ice too, being a bit of a Muppet. Man, the Scorpion's reload is just so good. I didn't even have time to cross there safely, but I had to make a play because our, otherwise our our TS5 would have died there. However, this TS5 might be able to clutch up here. He might be able to do this. Come on, one kill shot. Oh, he low rolled. No, no, TS5, angle up your armor. Nice, nice, nice. Use the ice to his meat shield. He should go for the Scorpion here, but nah, he, he kind of messed up. Yikes. He should have he should have ignored the IS there. He would have actually had a chance of winning. Now the Scorpion has the easiest kill of a century. Especially as- a Oh, wait! The Scorpion hit the turret! No way! Is the Scorpion gonna get debated? Is he going to get debated out of a win? You out-reload him! No- Oh my goodness! No way! Oh my goodness! Our TS5 clutches up! No! The Scorpion hates his life! Why didn't he just hatch snipe him? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Oh, I gotta help out the TS5. He did a good job against the 252U there. Oh my, oh my goodness. That scorpion, he hates his life. Oh. <laughs> Is the T22 in tier 10 overrated? I don't think it's overrated. I think it's about pretty accurately rated. I think though, a lot of players do tend to 
when they play it, think it's better than it is in terms of armor, and they'll just kind of YOLO and die. Like, that's not what the T22 is about. So, I will do a T22 stream next time it's in store. I promise. TS5 has, has a chance. Dude, that TS5 clutched up like an absolute boss. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was totally making a mistake when he got snagged on the turret. And then the scorpion tried to flank, got snagged on the turret and shot the turret. I'm like, bro, he made the plays. Maybe killing, maybe killing the, um, I'm spotted. Uh, maybe killing the, the IS-2 right off the bat was the play all along. Who knows? Wait, what? Why am I getting YOLO'd? Oh my goodness. I made a huge misplay. Their whole team's just sitting and spawn. I hate it when teams do that, man. It's so annoying. It's like, they all just sit and spawn, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> so that was my bad. I didn't think they were all just going to be in spawn. That's the reason I took so many shots there like a Muppet. But we do have good, a good chance of winning this match, this game. So let's try and put a shell to this dude's turret. Not quite, unfortunately. And I didn't expect the Bulldog to straight up just YOLO. <laughs> Here he comes again. Here comes our, bi our big brain yellower over here. Um, goodbye. <laughs> Midair. It's just like uh, it's just like shooting uh, ski. <laughs> All right. Looks like the the Indian Panzer is making a break for cover. Good job for him. Uh, here's the Tiger P. Oh, Tiger P is going into the open. Well, that's perfect for me. He's not looking either. I was going to cap out, but I want to nuke this dude while he's distracted. So let's put one shot onto his side first. Very good. So, uh, yeah, I lost a lot of hit points there. Like a bit of an idiot, but we're doing okay. Almost 400 likes, my boys. Good job. Smash the like button. Let us achieve our goals. All right. I know I'm about to cap out again, but I can't resist the side of a tiger pee. Boop. Oh, oh, oh. Lycan. Oh, dear. Lycan. Why you got to be doing our ISU dirty like that, man? Look at the spawn snipers! They literally have like three takes just sitting there in the spawn man. I'm gonna cap the base out this time. Very good. Oh my goodness. Very big brain spawn sniping enemy team tanks. Oh, 550 max roll, let's go. Well, this is easy farm fest then. The the dudes the dudes do be chilling in their own spawn. Like they don't they just don't care. They just chilling over here, you know? Oh, oh come on, gun. Come on. I was like. Unfortunate. Oh, hello, Yag Tiger. Don't don't look at me, please. I'm I am very ugly. Do not look at me. Yeet. 409 to him. Oh, this is so easy, guys. Their team is just sitting and spawn. What can I say? Easy, easy. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, let's see. Let's see if this other dude spots and get himself spotted. Oh, hello. It's a challenger. Interesting. He's in spawn as well. Okay, another shell to you, good sir. Looks like there's a Pershing behind us, but I'm not going to be too worried about him. Looks like, oh, it looks like the, the shark finally realized sitting in spawn, not a, not a very big brain idea. Let's see if we can pick up a kill on this poor unsuspecting food here. Very good. All right, this game's already over. There's nothing more to say. Oh, hello. You can't shoot me. Psych. Wait, he's not even aiming for me. Oh, wait, he is now. Now he just uh, casually put a shot onto your side, so. <sighs> This game got close all of a sudden. I don't know how. Please don't kill me. Yay! We're still alive. Okay. This is not very good, guys. I gotta pull away from this fool. Very good. I didn't I didn't think this game was actually gonna get this close. Alright, let's see. Radical calibration. Is he reverse side scrape? Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> so let's take cat side scrape. Also the Pershing's there, because this odd shell just hit the building. So we know the Pershing's right around the corner. So I'm not gonna make that play, but I will take the cap advantage while I can. Very good. We got the cap, we picked up the kill. We chillin'. We chillin'. Now the issue is we're all one shots. So, um, let's take our time to get back up on the hill. If we can, we can play town. Oh, that's rather unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, which way is he's head? I'm gonna keep an eye on the minimap. So we're going to the left of A. This means I get one shot, one chance, one opportunity. Dang, I missed it. He got unspotted just in time. I am also spotted, but the good news is he's spotted too. Okay. So, I have APCR loaded up just so I'm more likely to kill this fool with one shot. And you're dead. Easy. That was almost a bad play. Uh, I mean, that was kind of a bad play. I almost got myself nuked and killed, but I was able to run away through town just in time. Yay, we got the dub. Yay. Stinky. Was going to go to bed, but realized 
Who <laughs> needs sleep? Stinky, thank you so much for the $15 tip. <laughs> you should get your sleep. You can always watch back the replay. Don't worry. Sleep is essential. Don't don't sacrifice yourself for my part, okay? Oh, 407 nights. Dang, you guys took that out of the park while I was while I was distracted big braining on these fools. How many other tier 8 medium tanks in the game can you casually hold 3,400 damage and 96% win rate? Like, goodness. Hey, Yoda, by the way. How you doing? I don't I don't think I said hi to you yet. I'm sorry. Hi, Yoda. <laughs> I, w I was distracted. My goodness. But in all seriousness, how many, how many tier 8 meds can pull 3,400 damage, 96%... 96% win rate and it's just not it just doesn't happen. It's because the Chimera has all of the right things to be a top tier vehicle and by top tier I don't mean tank tier. I just mean top tier in terms of performance. It has enough armor It has enough penetration it has enough accuracy insane alpha damage 10 degrees of gun depression good mobility It's like there aren't any massive flaws to this vehicle So that's why you can have monster win rates and average damages in a tank like this. Oh, hello. Oh, well, I did not expect you there, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Really? Well, I take that back. We are getting nuked. Right off the bat. Uh, where are my heavy tanks at? Okay, they're right around the corner. This T28 makes... Oh, my goodness. Their team is being super aggressive. They've already picked up one kill for free off my teammates here. No, please don't hit me. I think he has a seven second. Oh, my goodness. This game is already trash. This might be the worst game yet, guys. This just might be the worst game yet. I know there's a KV4 on the flank as well. So I can't pull forward. I'll let the T-32 T do that. Okay. Maybe we can get an HE into this CDC here. AP, maybe. Oh, we got the HE. Very good. I need to back out of here as quickly as possible. Dude, this defender is so annoying. Yikes, dude. What are... I don't know what my teammates are doing, but our heavies are, like, lost in Narnia for the most part. And so, yeah. Like, my team is just su super split up. Their team just full-on sent, like, all of their team to A. All right, all I'm going to really worry about right now is just trying to give my team a chance here, but I don't think that's going to happen very easily, especially with the Tiger 2 here now. Is the Tiger 2 looking? Oh my goodness, he's not looking at the time being, so let's push down to the KV-4 here. Very good. Tiger 2 could easily turn his attention to me, so I got to be careful. Yeah, he's going to turn his attention now. Darn, this is not good, guys. We might lose our second match of the day. I had a really bad start, which did not help at all. Hmm. Really? Oh my goodness, I needed that to hit. Alright, damage is all that matters at this point. I don't see any way I can win this on 173 hit points. So I'm just going to try and go for as much damage before I die. So that's why I'm going to send it to this corner. As, be as remote as possible. Uh, am I going to be fast enough though? I don't think so. I think the T28 is going to get here too soon. My T28 is not paying attention. Oh, the defender definitely spotted me though. That's bad. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Or sorry, AMX here. Alright, let's put a kill shot to this dude. Okay. Very good. I could still potentially get some damage out this game, but uh, it's not very likely to be much. Sorry, I just don't have enough hit points for this. I'm just trying to get damage out right now. Just try to save the average as much as possible at this point of time. Yeah, that team was just scoffed. That team was so scoffed. No one helped me on the mid properly there by taking the encounter cap and we had like a charioteer YOLO to A and die instantly and then our T29s just sat back so yikes. Yikers. We finally lost the game boys. This is so sad. The first actual loss of the day with this tank. How much did my win rate drop? No, it dropped to 3%. Boo. You call it garbage. Yeah, oh dear. Yeah, yeah, that game was just messed up, man. Our T32 didn't even pen more than two shots in the KV4 there. <laughs> this is the first loss since the second battle, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And and that loss should hardly count because I had to go... I just had to, like, YOLO into their team because my stream died for a few seconds there. Which is the only reason we lost, I'm pretty sure. If I'd actually sweated out that game, we would have won. So, feels bad, man. It's okay, though. It's okay. We're expected to lose occasionally. <laughs> Their team was just in a really strong position. They had the defender that could hold the hold mid. They had a um, the rest of their team just yolo straight through A. 
Yeah, yikes. This is so sad. <laughs> okay. All right. 50 TP, E50, ooh, E50, scary. Should be a good load up though. I think I'll be fine. I should be fine. If only I could have had like 4k damage that game, I wouldn't have minded the loss so much, but uh, I only got 2k damage because I got nuked off the bat. Because all of our teammates just had... I, I really wish teams wouldn't do that so much where they all just kind of sit in the cap. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying <laughs> because they, they, they forsake the good positioning that's where the encounter cap is located by kind of being passive. And when you lose that positioning off the bat, it's not always the best for your teammates. Hmm, let's see, maybe... Very good. Nice challenge to this dude. Really, E50? Oh my goodness, I don't have a ton of allied support here. No, this is not good. I gotta back up, I think. Oh, nice. Our camp is just yoloing straight through. What a big brain. I need to take the bridges at all costs. That's my number one goal right now. Camp is... Yeah, he's not gonna be alive very long. But heck, at least he took their attention off me so I can take high ground now. E50 has a damaged Amarak, so let's go for the E50. I don't know if I can see you guys or not, because my... Okay, my screen just went dead. Is the stream still there? Is the stream still there? Because from my perspective, the preview of the stream is completely blank. I want to know if you can still see anything. This is not good. Oh, the clock's frozen too. Darn. I think you guys might not be able to see my stream now. Bro, my team's down 2-0 now. No. No, it's not good. I don't know if you can see anything. Okay, so the stream still is there, but from my perspective, it's not... Okay, that's so weird. <laughs> as long as you can see it, we're good. Okay, okay. Lots of technical issues today, my goodness. YouTube not, YouTube not going easy on me today, huh? Is he gonna go low? Yes, okay, we gotta kill the, the boar sig then. If he has a spawn liner, there's no point in me shooting HE. That's what I've learned. If a, if a Borsa gets a liner and you're in a Chimera, there's really no point in shooting HE. So let's, uh, let's pull through. Alright. Let's see. Come on, you gotta go. You gotta go. I don't have the hit points for this, but uh, I'll let the T-34 take- T-34! Oh, you're just gonna let the Bat Chat die instead. Bro! Oh, what is that? No, the Yo's gonna drop down from above now. I gotta pull back, because he's gonna go through the mid. There he is. All right. Unfortunately, we're about to lose our, our our homie over here. Rather sucks, but we can push shell into this dude, and then we can run up the mid. I'm gonna try and get a crossfire on this M on this M6, so he's less inclined to just YOLO. He also has a 26 second magazine reload, so we we are chilling on that number. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh, oh! Slowly but surely, very good. The longer I can keep him out of the fight, the, the more likely my allies are to survive. That's what matters most right now. Okay, he's not paying attention. Let's put another shell into this dude. Our T-34 is definitely dead. But this dude is also pretty low on hit points. So is the SU. So, where is he gonna go? I don't want to overextend here. But let's put a kill shot into him. Very good. Let me just refresh YouTube Studio real quick. I think once it refreshes, I should be able to see the stream again. I got scared there for a second. All right. Yay! Okay, we're back. Good, good, good. All right. Where is this SU gonna be? I don't have gun depression. Oh, he messed up. I'm gonna capture C first. Let's get those supremacy points, and then we can deal with the SU later. So, C cap is mine. Very good. And all right, the alpha is juiced. Okay, I just spilled tea all over my mouth. I'm sorry. I have to wipe it off. All right. So the question is, we do have cap supremacy here. Where is the SU gonna go? We're playing in a 1v1 situation. Okay, there's the SU. He has not yet spotted me, so let's put a quick shell into him while he's not looking. Poor SU. Poor, poor SU. Not feeling too well, are we, sir? Alright, full charge! We must win this game! We must regain our pride after our Pepega loss we had last battle, which dropped our win rate spectacularly. I wonder if he's gonna run away. That's what- that's what I would think he would do. Bop. Lovely! Alright! <laughs> Are you still in lockdown in, uh, Osmar? Ah. Uh, <laughs> very, very- almost got me there. We almost got me there. Alright! 4k damage! Very good! 
Fixing the average a little bit. Win rate's still looking a little low. 93%. Unacceptable. We do not have 98% win rate. Tank is clearly not good enough. Hey, Venice, do you have a... A uh, hated map. Mine is Faust. Uh, hmm. There are some maps I am not a huge fan of. I, I, sometimes I hate Port Bay, but sometimes you get magnificent games on it, so it's kind of a love-hate relationship. Um, same for Dead Rail, but... Hmm. It's not mine, surprisingly. I'm not... I don't hate mine. I don't like it, but it's not a hated map. Uh, I think it would have to be Dead Rail, personally. Although I have good games on Dead Rail too, it's difficult to say. Team Trouble, how's it going? Welcome to the squad. Welcome to the His Royal Fatness stream. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Fatty. Too late for stream. I was playing what B finished with a headache, but at least I had 3.6k average or so. All right, not bad. Is that a two, in tier 10? HRF always is the protagonist in every battle. He. <laughs> All right. So I do have allies for support here. We're going to take the bridges, like the big brains we are. Um. As you know from, I've said it many times, when you're on this map, I generally th speaking think trying to hold B cap is not a great idea because the enemy team always gets to park untouched and unhindered and it's much more difficult for you to cross the park safely. You usually get slapped by the enemy teammates. So yeah, my team is not in the worst position if they can hold out long enough. Oh, here's an IS-5. Let's pop our reticle calibration. Really? How is- it, it, it hit like bottom of his track. That's where the shot missed there. Alright, I think the enemy team are likely to push through, so let's just wait to see if that happens. Or it hasn't happened yet, but I'm, I think it will. Orsig's gonna be this first victim here today. Yeet! Oh, 393 HE! I'm just gonna- oh dear. No, 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 don't look at me. I'm not here, okay? I'm not here. Please don't look at me. Thank you. Die. Very good. Okay, looks like he's gonna go down. Oh, there's a Svear. There's a Svear over here. Let's put a shot to his side. There we go. So I made the right call. The enemy team are crossing in the open. They're slowly getting themselves farmed out. And in this case, it's fine that we have tanks in B because they're doing a good job staying alive. I just think that trying to hold B is a bit difficult at times, you know? So that's why I generally speaking won't do it. Okay, let's see if this Black Prince... Oh, there's a Yag Panther. Let's put a shot to his side. All right, we're gonna put it back from the crossfire. Although it looks like they're gonna shoot our Chieftain because he's out on the outside more than me. Very good. Um, this Black Prince will probably pull forward again, I would assume. That's the logical play. Let's pre-aim for his lower plate. Uh, oh wait, I need to, I need to pre-aim better. Nah, he's not gonna pull out again. So what's the big brain play of the game? IS-5 is gonna pull forward. Not pulling forward. Pulling back is the big brain play. If I pull forward, I'm putting myself into a massive crossfire. I'm just gonna aim at this IS-5. Max roll, please. Nice. We do get a juicy max roll. But we also lost a couple hit points there, which I really shouldn't have lost, but, uh... Enemy team have double cap. This is not good. Let's see. Anyone else around here? Not quite. I can't really push anywhere. This is very problematic. Okay, wait. I can definitely put a shot onto the Svear here, though. Put a quick shot onto him. Very good. Alright, Chieftain TI-5 is being big brain gun for cap. I'm gonna go assisto him. Because I don't think he's gonna survive versus a shark. Unfortunately, that's just not a very good fight for him to pick. Oh, no. No, I wasn't in a position to shoot him in time on the crossing. I think we're gonna lose this one, boys. Dang it, our win rate is just not going up anymore. Right, let's focus the shark because he's more dangerous, but uh, yeah, this game is over, boys. This game is over. My t I'm telling you guys, don't make the mistake of sending guys into B. It happens so often, and it always ends in your team losing because, well, pretty obviously, they get stuck facing tanks that are in a park, and you can't face tanks in a park if you don't have park control, you know? So. Nice high roll on this dude. Let's just try and pull away from the Ag Panther at least. Alright, alright, alright. That's good enough for me. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. The IS-5 has me on reload. Unless I can bait my tracks. Oh, come on! We're losing our win rate! Now we'll- now we'll be at 90%. Why? Why do- he, we have Bobby with us now though. Everything's fixed, but why does my team have to insist on going to town? I don't understand. It's always a bad fight to pick. Like, look. You did zero damage to- Oh dear, he has a 35% win rate. I think he's doing d zero damage regardless. And Lova, oh dear. Yeah, I mean, look, all of our heavy tanks did sub 700 damage. Well, actually, all of our heavy tanks did sub 1,000. And I, I did three- I did over three times the amount of damage of, of any single player on my team. Because I didn't get baited into holding town. It happens so often. Bobby, are you just gonna stare at the camera now? Darn it! We're at 90% win rate. This is not good, guys. We're losing our win rates. 
This is uncooler. <laughs> what I make? What are my career stats in this take? Ninety-one games, three thousand average, ninety-two percent. All right, let's play to come here to a hundred battles, boys. Let's get our hundred games in this take. So nine more games to go. Let it be epic, big brain gameplay, and please no more losses, please. <laughs> what are fate actors? Uh, no questions. A no questions asked. Okay, let's go, Bobby. Let's go, Bobby. Let's do this together. You want to watch my screen? Let's go. Bobby, look. Yes, watch me play Blitz. It's fun. Look, tanks go burr. Tanks go burr. <laughs> She's just like, human, you are making no sense right now. I'm just going to pretend you don't exist. All right. It's whatever. Okay. So, let's see if we can do this. Hmm. <laughs> Chimera's holding back. Can't say I blame him. Probably the right play. Let's pop a reticle calibration right now. Put a shelter to his lower plate, though, while he's not paying attention. Very good. Enemy team only have a... I think that's a Cheeto. Or, a, yeah, Cheeto SPG on the enemy team. As for tank destroyers. So that's good for me. Because they don't have really scary TDs. Now, while my reticle calibration is still activated, I would like to eat this Progetto. Yikers. Progetto doesn't get reticle calibration. Feels bad, man. Imagine not having reticle calibration. That must really suck, you know? Okay, so Progetto gets yeeted over there. Ooh. Is that Kyanarvan looking my way? No, the Progetto, I didn't realize he was making a break for it. That was a mistake by me. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I don't want to overexpose myself, but I kind of want to farm out these heavy tanks if at all possible. Oh, Tiger 2 might be looking my way. He's not quite. Do we believe? Yes! Okay, we got a good shot into him. Very good. Alright, the start of this game hasn't been too bad. Our heavy tanks should be able to clear the Grave Digger and the Tiger very easily. And my team are in a solid position to hold the dunes. So we should win this game already. Like, we should already have the all the material we need to win this battle. Hmm, I wonder. Do we believe, boys? We believe! Oh! We believed! It's all Bobby's fault. In a good way. Bobby is blessing us with good RNG. See, Bobby is the way. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Canarvon, wanna... Wanna poke forward again there, bud? Hmm? Oh, yes. Very good. Give me some damage on you, brother. Okay, let me just wiggle my turret. Uh, don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! I'm an innocent chimera! Please don't! Yes, that's right. Don't shoot me. Alright. Well, oh, nice, nice reactive armor, mate. You actually win this one. But if I'm trading shot for shot, I win this one still. Because I still have more hit points. And uh, I'll just wait for your reactive armor to run out. Mm, you know what? I'm kind of lazy. I think I'm just going to push down to him anyways. 308. Very good. He's still a two shot regardless. Because I have 440 alpha. So he's still a two shot. Even though he used his reactive, it didn't make a huge difference in the end. That's why I don't really bother with reactive on most of my tanks that have them available. Ooh. You don't see me. I don't exist. You don't see me, I don't exist. Alright, brother, are you trying to pull back from me? But you have to remember, I'm much taller than you. There we go. No, I massively low road. Unacceptable. Oh, oh, oh dear, sir. You got tunnel visioned. Sir, sir, you're, you are, you are gonna die. Okay, sir is dead. Dang it, where'd their team go? <laughs> they, uh, they, van they vanished rather quickly, didn't they? No, he's gonna die way before me. Way before I can get to him. The, see, the Indian Panzer's faster than me, and he's backing straight into him. Why? Yes, put forward. Be the big IQ player. Yes, give me one last shot of damage. I I had too much confidence in my shooting abilities. All right, 450 likes almost. Yes, you're doing a good job, guys. Come here is by far is is far from OP in my mind. It's easy enough to pen, so if you're aware of your enemies, I mean, uh, it depends on what you define as being a little bit OP. I think the Chimera is still on the rather busted side for medium tanks. I mean, the best way to compare it is to compare it to like what is the closest thing to a tech tree equal. And if you were to compare a T-34-2 to a Chimera, there is no competition at all. Um, and heck, if you're to put a poor T-44 against a Chimera, it's, it's a difficult comparison once again. So that's what I mean when I say the Chimera is a bit on the OP side, because there really isn't any tech tree tank that can even match its abilities effectively. All right, Bobby, you're so cute. We are happy to have Bobby with us here today. All right, eight more games to go, guys. Eight more games to go before we reach that magical 100 career game mark with the Chimera. So let's do it. My mission is to have a 90% win rate at 100 games. 
I think we can do it. I can lose like two more matches max. So out of the next eight games, I need to win, you know, at least six. If I can do that, then it's mission accomplished. All right. Let's see. Firstly, anyone going to contest me over here? Oh my goodness. Yes, someone is. Oh, oh my goodness. He's burning. He just took 900 damage. Oh my. My man's did not have a fire extinguisher. Hello? 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 Did my man's not have a fire extinguisher? You messed up, Chimera. You thought you could get the jump on me, but guess what? I have reticle calibration too. Oh my gosh. Absolutely bombing. The poor scorpion there. I'm just going to sit here. We're going to wait to see if this Chimera backs out. Because he's about to get YOLO'd by a 1390. So instead of taking 440 to the face right now. I'll just wait for him to get spotted by someone else. Right? So now he's going to get yellow from behind. He's going to turn around. And that's when I'm going to take advantage of the situation here. Very good. Now we now we YOLO him. Because he's going to get distracted on the AMX here. There we go. He just fired. Exactly as I had planned. We already know he wasted his adrenaline. So... Let us just put a quick yeet into this dude's side. We're going to pull across so we don't get shot again. Goodbye. Farewell. I do not exist. See ya, buddy. <laughs> and then the FCM should be able to finish him off very easily. Nice. And that also leaves Mr. STG over here. Oh, no. He pulled back intelligently. I can't. I can't afford him. Oh, T44, though. Prepare to be max world. Oh, 390. That's far from a max world. Prepare to be shot for 390. <laughs> All right. That just leaves these two, these two fools over here. All right, T44 is getting blocked by the IS-6. I'm so sorry to do this to you. Darn it. No, my damage is running. Why? Why is their team so bad? Okay, you know what? In the end, I still got like 2.5k damage. I think I still got like 2.5k in the end. I won't be too mad. Because I got a, I got a 900 damage shot into that Rhymatile or that uh, Scorpion G. So I should be chilling in damage for the most part, 2.2. <sighs> I mean, the first shot was amazing, but their team got swept in a 2 minute and 15 second game. 135 seconds to 7 won their team or whatever. <laughs> uh, you wanted a dub tank drive by, as VG says. I feel you wanted aggressively. And you wanted not a dub tank. If anything, it's the opposite. E100 is a strong vehicle. That is for sure. However, the E100 is a big box. And if you're not positioning yourself correctly in the vehicle, you're going to just get destroyed by haul down tanks with 370, 340 heat, 310 heat even. And you get crossfired out, you're a big box. If you know what you're doing, the E100 is very strong, but I honestly don't see the E100 as a nubs tank personally. I think there are a lot other, there are a lot better choices that newer players can take if they want something easy to play. Did Bobby fall asleep? Yes, Bobby fell asleep on her favorite microfiber towel. Isn't she the best? All right, let's see how this is going to go, guys. First, we're going to go give someone the drop on mid. Someone going in counter is not going to expect me here. All right, Tiger P maybe. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on the minimap. I should still be free to shoot this Tiger P. Nice. Very good. All right, so enemy team appears to have committed to Ruin slash B. Not a bad play by them, especially if they take that corner, which the Severe has done. Um, looks like there is an Annihilator. Yikers, I do not want to get caught out by one of those tanks. That would just really hurt. No, don't tell me he's straight up just YOLOing. I hate it when players do this, man. Just shoot at someone. Just don't shoot at me. Yay, he shot at someone but me. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with this play, sir. I'm fine with this play. Just let me shoot you and pull across safely. Thank you. All right, now I'm in a position to start dealing with these foods. Okay, let's see. What do we got in front of us? A tiger, probably a borsig in the bush. The tiger one appears to be slightly overextendo here, so let's load a shot for his side. There we go, damaging his Amarok while we're at it. Oh, that's the borsig. Oh, I was tunnel visioned. What a nub. I almost got shot by him, but I think he missed because I, I heard a borsig shoot somewhere, but it wasn't at me. Annihilator, let's finish him off. Kind of a waste of my max roll, but I'll take it. And uh, yeah, we made the right play. We're in a good farm position now. Oh, dear. The tiger, sir. Good sir and the tiger. This is not a very big brain play by you, sir. Put another shell to him. Oh, this game's won. This game's won. It's just going to be a race for damage at this point. <laughs> As so many games are nowadays, it's a race for damage. Hmm. I'll just go for the easier shot. There we go. 448 into him. There's the Borsig back at it. What up, Mr. Borsig? Hope you're doing well, sir. 
Horsey just fired. We may as well finish off the Tiger. Come here, Mr. Tiger. I have reticle calibrate. Oh, 380 damage. Very uncool. Baiting shots from the Borask. Ah, uh, this is so easy. This is farm. This is pinnacle of tier 8 gameplay. This is what we like to see. Alright, please do not have a spore liner, kind sir. Darn it, he had a spore liner. <laughs> Oh, man. It's always a gamble when no one has a shot at the Borsig. You're like, does he have a spot liner? Does he not have a spot liner? Does he have a spot liner? Does he not have a spot liner? Oh, nice shot, T25. Oh, my goodness. My reload is so long. I'm going to pop my adrenaline here. All right. Very good. Okay, if I hug this this left side, hopefully this Scorpio... Oh, no. Please don't high roll. Very good. All right. 4K damage has been dealt. Annihilator! There's a Borsig on your left. <laughs> Deal with him, please. I need to farm this Borask before he dies. Thank you. Okay, reticle calibration is almost back as well. So hopefully we can get our 4K sh We capped out. Darn it. Darn it, we had to cap out. Oh, face cam vanished. No, is it stopped charging? We're back. Hi. Hi there. We're back. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the face cam, but... uh. We're back, and that's what matters. <laughs> we did win. I did about 4k damage. Bobby's uh, cuteness over overloaded. Dude, Bobby's cuteness seriously overloaded. I think, if anything, probably the camera's uh, internal t shutoff function probably activated after about... No, it's never done that before. I went seven hours, heck, without having the camera turn off. Sometimes it just turns off. Camera thonking. Dude, big brain camera. Big brain camera. How much you pay for your tiger tattoo? Uh, I forget, man. I was, I got it like, goodness, has it been three years already? Yeah, three years ago. Um, maybe like 250 bucks? I got it through a rather established tattoo artist, so it wasn't cheap. So, I forget though. But, yeah, when you're getting a tattoo, you don't want to go with this like, the cheap stuff. It doesn't look good. If you're going to permanently stain your body, at least make sure you're you're going to do it the premium way, right? All right. Amex 30 or 1 over here is going to give me a nice side shot. So let's put a shot on 480. Very good. Looks like the enemy team is split. So me and the meds here. Me and the boys here. The boys are just going to full send. Let's go. Full send, guys. Well, what are you waiting for? There's no one here. Just go. He's trying to escape. You should prevent his escape instead of sitting there doing nothing. Oh. Oh, buddy. Ed H-E. Oh, 520. Let's go. Let's pop the adrenaline. Oh, oh dear. My hands got uh, annihilated in a rather unpleasant show of m lacking mercy. All right, let's pick up an O'Shawn and do this, dude. Nice, 1400 damage to start the game off with. I will not complain about that in the slightest. Mr. ASU, please do not die. I need to put... Okay, he's dead. Hmm, T32 is over here. Our ST1's all by himself and lonely. So let's go uh, provide some company to the to the boys over here in the in the B cap. Let's show them what's good. Yo, homies. What's good? Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chimera, the balanced medium tank, wants to have a word with you about our Lord and Savior, Le Bobby. <laughs> Okay, I'll just let him shoot the IS-3. Very good. And then I'll put a shell into the 53 TP here. Bop. Very good. Very good indeed. Alright, I think we're I think we're chilling to pick up some kills over here. So let's just uh IS-3 if you'd be much obliged. Thank you, sir, for your sacrifice. We really appreciate it. Um and uh, let me catch you on fire, maybe. Let's start capping out. Nope, nope, we're gonna YOLO for damage. Only true big brains YOLO for damage at this stage. Because there's only a 54 left. Excuse me. Excuse me, dude. Excuse me. Why you gotta why you gotta wedge me? Nice, I misfired too. Epic. No, I'm not gonna get my last shot of damage in now. It's all your fault. 50 deep beat. It's all your fault. Why you gotta be a meanie? Alright. Hold up. Wait, wait, 54. Don't send it. Don't send it. Yes, give me the shot. Yes! Ram kill! Oh! No, we didn't ram kill him! Darn it! <laughs> It was a good try. Ooh, call me Dan. Welcome to the Royalty Squad. Thank you for becoming a channel member. Feel free to spam the Epic His Royal Fatness and Le Bobby stickers in the in the live chat if you wish to do so. Demonstrate to others. Just uh, 
how chat our stickers are. <laughs> All right. Like, I haven't been reading chat. I've been a bad boy. All right. Still is a, why get a tattoo you can use a permanent marker? <laughs> right? To be fair, it's in, it's in the far right of the arm where it don't look at much. What are you referring to? Are you blind? My first thing catching the stream. Dive. Oh boy. Hello, rock rock stuff. Probably was like 150250 because are the most expensive tattoos, <laughs> tattooing service. No, I go by reviews. Look up reviews on individual tattoo artists if you're going to get a tattoo. Uh, 500 likes now. Almost. 462. I think we can reach 500. Hi, Bobby. Yes, Bobby is being an adult, adorable right now. Youngster's name is Chad. <laughs> Chad, you... <laughs> I don't think... Uh... Don't do what I did and trade and what's up? <laughs> it still costs me much to fix. Oh my goodness. Daniel! Thank you so much, Daniel, for becoming a member. I do appreciate it. Daniel Geo. Gone. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. All right. So, what are we going to do? Oh, this is a cursed map again with the TDs. Dear me. All right, this time we're, we're not going to mess up. We're not going to have a third scenario where I aim for someone and I track them. This time, we're yeeting someone right off the bat. Pog. Okay. So, these TDs are dumb messed up big time. They really dumb messed up big time. I mean, massively, massively messed up. Yeet. Oh, he didn't have a spawn liner. Oh, dear. 572 damage taken. That had to hurt. That had to hurt. My poor fellow. Feeling the ultimate pain and suffering. Oh, my good. Oh, what is going on? There's like... There was like a, 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 sir, sir, what is your plan, sir? Sir, what is your plan, sir? Sir, I demand to know what your big brain plan. I got so heavily baited, I don't even want to mention it. I don't even want to mention it. I don't know what this dude's plan is, but I don't want to mention that shot that just happened right now. This is what I get for trying to be selfish and go for a high explosive shot. I deserve that. I should have just gone for an AP shot. <laughs> We're not going to mention that, okay? Also, sir, what were you doing? Seriously. <laughs> Darn it. That was... What is it with me and awful shots on this map in particular? I think I just suck at this point. Okay, I'm not going to send the open while there's a poor six still around. But this game's already over, so full send, boys. Oh, hello, poor six. Please don't look at me. I swear I am innocent. No, please do not shoot me. Yes. Oh dear, where's their team at? Oh man, they died so fast. They died so fast. Oh dear. Uh, oh, 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 aim. 435, very good. All right, this dude, where is he? He hasn't been spotted by the T28. Is he AFK or did he sneak 1000? He sneaked 1000. Look at him. Oh wait, I see what he, he's gone for the drown. No, don't do it. Don't do it, don't jump, no. Someone call the police! Oh, oh. Sir, we have just lost. We have just lost a valued member of our community. Long live. Rest in peace to our comrade, Mr. STG. You, sir. Long live. Uh, R.I.P. All right. We got 3k damage in the end. That's all that matters. <laughs> I dropped what's just channel. <laughs> going to be between Droodles and HRS channel now. Decisions, decisions. Who do you throw money away to? <laughs> uh, put your money towards those, uh, towards those who you believe deserve it. That's what I would say. <laughs> If, uh, if you think Drudos de deserves it and you, you feel willing, then give it to Drudos. If you think uh, I deserve it, then uh, give it to me. Or, better yet, spend it on yourself because who cares about some mobile gamers? <laughs> well, not Drudos. Drudos PC gamer. But all the same. It's a mobile game. <laughs> all right. Mr. SU-130. We're going to go up the mid this game because I don't want to get stuck in the corner because it's harder to pull out from this end. Ha 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 ha. Don't, don't do it, guys. I know what you're thinking. So Mr. ISU is sitting in the back of spawn. My intuition speaketh that their team is here. My intuition also telleth me that it would be a really bad idea to try pushing the T-34. The reasoning beyond that is that ISU is just going to chill there and anyone else with a crossfire is going to be like, haha, easy farm. I don't think that's a good idea. So, while it's obvious that there's a T-34 and ISU there, there are only two tanks spotted up. So, yeet, not quite. 
So I'm going to wait for their meds in our spawn. I'm not really trying to snipe. I just don't know where's the best place for me to be right now. Because I don't think pushing the T-34 is a great idea. And as you can see, there is a Centurion 7 Mark V here. So let's get ready to start dealing with this dude. Looks like he is temporarily isolated. So let's take advantage of that. Oh, nope. Mistakes were... I bounced off of his rear. Okay. These dudes are now a bit overextended. If they try to push on me, they have a smasher and an SC-130 to deal with. So this should be... Oh, no, no. That's an FE-301. Let's put a quick shot onto this dude. Oh, and that's a severe. Okay, there's a lot of tanks coming in now. I'm a little bit scared now, but we should be fine. We're going to go for the LT first. He's a far more deadly tank who has all the mobility in the world to be chilling here. So let's push onto his side. Very good. 370, bit of a low roll. Hopefully the nice SU does kill him. Oh, dear. If he gets ammo racked by the smasher, that's fine by me. But we're still in a bit of a predicament here. I messed up, guys. Most of my team is still on the other side. I got to casually start pulling back from this now. Because I, I'm just going to lose a DPM fight to Ascent, regardless. There's nothing I can do in a DPM fight. So I'm going to start withdrawing from this. Looks like the Surveyor is going to be my first victim here, if he continues to commit forward. SC, unfortunately, gets taken out. But the Surveyor is being a little bit aggressive here. Let's put a shell towards him. That tank has a lot of armor. All right, we're chilling now. We're chilling. My teammates should start... Pouring in from the flank, so by now I should be I should be good and chilling. Bro, that tank has so much armor. What is it? What is this? Oh dear. Nice, nice. The centurion got distracted by our, our yeah, Ag Panther. That's fine by me. Let's try and pull away from the scent though. The scent's gonna be super annoying with this 2.7k or so DPM. And I can't back up too much because the IS3. Come on, guys. Give me some support. Where are you? Or Lova's here, but is that enough? Okay, we got to back up now. While I can. While I can. I got to back up for the crossfire. Why are my teammates... Lova, what are you doing? Dude, why? Dude, focus on what's in front of you. Seriously. This Lova's trying to make us lose. <laughs> okay, I can go hold on on this, on this, um, this tank here. That's all that matters. There we go. He's a two-shot now. Nice. IS-3 got nuked. This game was a little bit too close for my liking, but we should be fine with a T-49 chilling on the flank. I just have to make sure I don't bleed unnecessarily, and we're good. So it looks like this dude's just content to sit here all game. So let's just wait it out for a moment. Um. Uh, hmm. Come on. Get distracted by our Lova right about now. Alright, that scent is such an annoying tank to deal with. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about him in that position. I'll just have to wait for a 49 to start picking up kills on the flank here. T49 done messed up. T49 done big time messed up now. Darn it. Why 49? Why you do yourself like this, buddy? Oh, Svear. No, the Svear's not gonna pull out in front of me now. He knows to stay back. Nice work, I suppose, by the Svear. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna have to hold our positions for now. No! I needed that shot the pen at all costs. Okay, our Lova's doing a good job staying alive for the time being. No, our Lova messed up a really integral shot as well. This is not looking good. This is not looking good, guys. No! Are we gonna lose another game? Darn it! How does that shot bounce? I call this complete crap. <laughs> How did that shot bounce, man? Seriously, what a joke. We've them. He's got a ban. Dang it! If that low had penned one more shot, we had the win. And or if my shot had penned his side. Goodness, I got trolled at the wrong time. I actually I like I hit him on his engine deck and ricocheted. Oh dear. How did our T49 mess up so bad too, man? If our T49 had just hit one HE shell on either tank, we would have been chilling. <laughs> <laughs> feels bad feels bad no we lost our 90 percent session it's okay we, we still have three more games to go i think we'll still end with 90 percent at 100 battles in this tank i should have won that game so easily but dude bouncing twice off the sphere like that tank's armor is annoying you have to hit it like right on the cheek flat I'm not saying I played a perfect game there, but uh, it is kind of a uh, sad that it didn't that we didn't win that. I, we totally should have won that too. That's the that's the sad thing. I don't know our teammates. We did an okay job holding spawn. 
It would have been a little bit better if my team had come back to support me. Like I said, they lost so many hit points just trying to kill that T-34 because of the ISU. I still think we made the right play by not pushing that, but after that, I could have played that a little better. Ah, well. Ease what it is. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, let's at least end up with a good game this time. So, we're going to spot the crossing first. I'm going to keep my turret turned left in case someone pops up up here. No one spotted yet. Oh, there's the tortoise. Okay. No one on C either. They could be sitting behind C. Oh, let's pop the reticle calibration. No, 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 no. I can't quite shoot them from here. You got to be kidding. Did I just waste my reticle calibration? It's okay. Let's just pull forward and shoot them from here then. Goodness, the yo's already dead. Why is the tortoise there? Oh, really enjoy your, your, your seven hour stream. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh... Anup? Anup, thank you so much for the donation. I'm glad you enjoyed that stream. I, I, that was actually a really fun stream. A very long one, but quite fun. Let's put it on to this dude here. Thank you very much. Alright. Oh, that's interesting. T-49 sniping in their spawn. Good to know. Come on, pull forward now, buddy. Oh my goodness, this 54 is annoying. Their whole team is just straight up sniping here. I'm sure the tortoise is still- Oh, the tortoise pulled back. Let's see if we can put a shell towards this dude's side. Of course we can't, because accuracy said burr. Alright, I need to be more aggressive, boys. We're being too passive here. We need to be aggressive. We need to get these last three dubs in. So we can have 90% of 100 games. Alright, that's the- that's the mission I have for today's- The rest of today's stream. Oh dear, we're losing member. We're losing players quick, quite quickly here, though. Oh, back of a tortoise. Very good. Put a shot to him there. Now the tortoise is kind of stuck in a bit of a crossfire. If he tries to look my way, my allies will crossfire him out and vice versa. This is perfect for me. Oh dear, he actually might get a shot to me here. Nice, he missed that one. All right, let's pop the reticle calibration here. Get a shot to his side while he's not looking. We're we'll do a little bit of a, a reversey versey side scrape here. Oh my goodness, we're getting double capped out as well. This tortoise is a wee bit annoying, but hopefully he gets crossfired out by the, my remaining allies here. So, let's see. Alright, AP. Very good. 358 there. Is anyone gonna help me on this tortoise, or is it just me? Like, T49, you can shoot him as well, I think. Why not go for it? Oh, this dude's lower HP. I should probably put a shot to him. Very good. Alright. T49 is now behind the tortoise. Very good. Okay, there's a lot of one-shots here. Even though it doesn't look pretty right now, there's no reason why my teammates can't clutch up a win here. So let's pick up a kill on this tortoise. He's most dangerous. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? This this is straight up just like, bruh. Bruh moment RNG. And now our ISC was spotted and getting himself nuked for no reason. Are we actually going to lose two games in a row with this tank? No, this can't happen. This can't be happening to me. Oh, I, I see. You could have HE'd him. Feels bad, man. Okay. Shark just fired. Okay, so if I put forward a little bit, the shark can't shoot at me. I need to go for kills right now, so let's pick up a kill on this dude. This, this is a risky play to make, but I need to be picking up kills right now, so... Let's pick up kills and go for B-cap. So we're gonna go for the tortoise here. Dang, TI2 has full HP. This game is over, isn't it? They have like three one-shots, though. I just need to make sure I don't take any shots like an idiot. That's all. I don't really have a choice. Essential kill shot there. Non-essential shot to take there. I gotta pull forward though. I don't have much of a choice right now. Dude, if I hadn't ricocheted off of the flat rear of the tortoise, we would have been fine. Like, why did I have to ricochet off of his rear? <laughs> this is so dumb. Dang it. I just gotta hope he, he doesn't high roll me here. I gotta send it for A now. I don't have a choice. Darn! This really sucks, doesn't it? Because they have so many cap points here. No, don't hit those. Oh my goodness. That tortoise is so lucky! How do I ricochet off of his rear with like 270 APZR? If I had killed him there, I actually could have won that. Bruh. Like, seriously, what's the APCR pen on this tank? It's decent. It's not bad. It's, uh, what is it? Oh, 252. Bruh. I am mad. We have lost two games in a row. What's my win in this tank? Oh no, it's down to 90% flat, so I can't lose a game for the next two battles. Ay ay ay. Yikers, man.
That tortoise is so lucky. Uh, if I had killed him there, we would have won. Hey, dog. How you doing? Vanus quit supremacy? Nah, I don't mind supremacy. Bigger Qs ain't too bad. Ricochet luck. <laughs> Ricochet luck. Luck of the Irish hair. Yeah. He had he had that he had that shamrock with him. He was like, err, and he survived his casual fatness. <laughs> In the end, I shouldn't even be too mad. I'm still pulling 3,386% in a tier in a tier 8 med, but still, I wanted 90%. And I would have had 90% if I didn't lose these last two games. Also, Venice, we watch anime later? Yes, dog, we are watching the uh what are we watching, dog? I forgot the name of the show. Don't hate me, dog. <laughs> but it's 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 very good. It's in uh It's about Japan after the Russo. Japanese war. It's very good. Okay. Um, where am I? Uh, oh, hello. Get yeeted. Very good. All right, boys. Let's make these last couple of games some exciting ones. And then, I'll, oh, I do have an epic replay for the end of the stream to watch. It is, uh, it is a very fun game. So I, I do recommend y'all enjoy the replay. Oh, hello. Watch this. No! Put it forward. Oh, yes, yeah, put it forward now. You just got shot at. Okay. They may have a light tank. But I'm not scared. Bro, I'm a chimera. I'm supposed to be broken. Yeet. So you take 400 to the face, brother. Now you're on 600 hit points. Okay. Time to YOLO. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, this dude's obviously dead. So let's just eat the 44 instead. Let's ram the 44 to finish him off as well. Boyo, where are you going, mister? Come here. You're about to die. Feels bad, man. Feels really bad, man, getting pew pewed like that. Hello, Maxwell? Oh, not quite. All right, boys, take him out. Finish him. Finish him. Okay, you know, I, I trust you. Trust. Let me go back up the mid here. Also, like, smash the like button. Yes, 492. Maybe we'll reach 500 before the end of the stream. Yeet. 15 damage. Oh, oh hello, sir. Don't shoot me. <laughs> Go, 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 T-32 Ranger. Okay. <laughs> Good job. T-34, I mean, not T-32. I am big brain. I really don't want to do this, but, um... I feel like leaving him alive makes me Loki a noob, but, oh well. <laughs> there we go, he's dead anyways. And this game is over. Let's just YOLO for damages. YOLO for damages, YOLO for damages, YOLO for damages. That's all we have left to do. The Kyrie has such high W and A. It does, yeah. I have 4,100 in this tank today, so it's not too bad, is it? All right, Christian. Prepare yourself. You're about to meet the nightmare that is the Chimera. I hope you are ready, sir. Guess what? Radical Calibration go burr. Oh, yes. Easy 3k damage dealt. Get good. Yes, get good. All right, Action X. Oh, thank you, Action X. You left the damage to me. I really appreciate that, man. That's very kind of you. Prepare to be rammed. No, don't kill my driver. No, I'm not gonna. Ah, I wanted to ram him. 4,800 <laughs> win rate. That's too bad. It's 4,100, not 4,800. You can see right up there. It's 4,146 win W8 session. I don't care about WNA. Honestly, if I didn't need to have it up, if that wasn't part of the stat tracker, I wouldn't even have it up there. Okay, what are we at? 90%, 3,030 average, 99 games. Okay, boys. Let's get this tank to 100 games and uh, maintain a POG win rate. Now, I don't know what the top 100 NA players on the Chimera are, but I have a feeling 3k and 90% should put me ranked at least top three in this tank. If not, then it just goes to show how strong this tank is. Hi, Fanis from the Philippines. Oh, I'm a, I'm late, but we'll rewatch this later. Hello, Carlo. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fanis, get a jacket or something. Are you freezing? Ah, dude, dude. My room, my room is not very cold. Uh, anyways, the temperature in Fahrenheit. Let's see what our lovely Fahrenheit temperature is. Uh, 40. Five degrees outside right now. So it's not even that cold outside, so it's not that cold inside either. Okay. Bobby, you're such a doll. Look at her being all cozy and, and sweet and cuddly. This is why Bobby is the best. Bobby is the best. 
Le Bobby, le, be le bestie. No! Okay, this is really bad. So my whole team's kind of going town. Which ordinarily wouldn't be a huge issue, but uh, we gotta scram from here, are you? Or we're going to get YOLO'd, and getting YOLO'd, big no bueno experience. I have plenty of experience with this, trust me. So, I know it is a not bueno experience, because I have lots of experience getting YOLO'd. Dang. I don't know what the IS-3 is chilling, uh, trying to, to accomplish here, but, um... I will, I will cover our RU for a minute. They're, I don't think they're gonna YOLO him right off the bat. Honestly, they might not even YOLO. Depends on how aggressive my team is here. Do I want to make this play or not? Maybe I can crossfire at this IS-3 here. IS-3 really wants me, doesn't he? Oh dear, Mr. IS-3. Oh dear, sir. There's a smasher up here now. Uh-oh, that's bad. And I'm also getting shot by Mr. T-43. But I want to kill this IS-3 first. I suck! I just took an extra 200 damage when I didn't need to. And I missed my kill shot. I am obviously nub. I am big nub. Get me out of here. Oh, IS-3 came back. Let's go. Alright. I mean, IS-6 came back. Alright, T-43 and Smasher both just fired. Now's my opportunity. I'm going to pull forward. We're going to kill this IS-3. I'm going to go support this dude now. No, 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 no. Dude, IS-6, what are you doing? Seriously, there's a Smasher behind us. I'm going to wait for the Smasher to fire again. Alright, Smasher just shot. Let's run away from him. While we can. Looks like the Smasher has different plans. That's fine by me. As long as I turn around fast enough, he won't be able to HE me here, so... Yep, there we go. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. But I also have you on... Potentially on reload here. I don't know if I actually have him on reload, but I have him on mobility, so I can always just run around this corner here and get safe. There we go. Very good. Alright, pick up a kill on this dude. This game was not very good to start off with, so let's hope we can fix it up. T-34 is getting bonked from behind by CDA, or CDC. Just put an H into this dude. How? No! Please hit that T-34. I need you to hit that to make him a one-shot at least. Alright, roughly like one versus everyone. He hits that on the move, because of course he dies. Of course he does. Dang, that with 53 TP as well. This is not good, boys. Nice shell into him. Oh no, are we going to lose our 100th battle in this tank? That'd be rather unfortunate. Where's his Porsche going to go? Dang it, I should have not shot HE. I would have been better off if I just shot AP at this dude. Please don't pen this. Oh, let's go. He actually managed to bounce it. Coming in clutch. Okay. I just need to high roll this dude. No, I don't think I can do it. Oh, we managed the high roll, but not enough, obviously. We tried our best, guys. We tried our best. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull it off. However, we should still end 90% of 100 games, I think. Because this one was a was a freeway loss. Like, I could lose this one and still have 90. Let's see, are we 90%? 89. I can't be having that. I can't have that. What was this team, by the way? Dude, seriously. Oh my goodness. Ay -ay -ay. Why would my Muppet teammates go into the town when we had every advantage? I can't leave it at 90. I gotta try- I can't leave it at 89. I gotta go for 90. But I'm taking Supremacy off because this is like over and over. The Supremacy games are the only games I've lost today, I'm pretty sure. I just have to win like, what, two games? Two games? Get two wins? We got it? I can't leave it at 89%. I will get 90% in this tank, even if I have to platoon in it later. No matter what. But I'm gonna give it my go right- I'm gonna give it a go right now. Because I can't be having an 89% win rate, man. This is ungood. <laughs> two- two wins. Two consecutive wins, and we got it in the bag. Let's try our best. Time to cut their wages. I agree. <laughs> I don't know what that smasher was thinking. Man was just like, I'm just going to YOLO into the open. <laughs> he could never beat a Chimera in a 1v1. 
He could have been passive and farmed so much more damage, but instead he just YOLO'd me instead of instead of going for like the, the IS6 wasn't even looking at him. I'm pretty sure the IS6 rear can be HE'd very easily too by most 150mm guns. So he could have HE'd the IS6. I would have ran away because I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> In the end, I don't think I would have been able to win that. I might have been able to clutch it if, and only if, I hadn't taken a few shots at the start like an idiot. Nice, very good. I'm starting to hate Severs, by the way. Their armor profile of that take always trolls me. Maybe I just suck at aiming, but uh, Loki, Loki don't really like, them. well, not Loki, but I Loki don't like them. Nice, let's get another shot to this Nova. Very good. Mr. Tiger1 is on a full YOLO rampage. He, We have a rabid Tiger in our spawn. This is very bad, guys. Push onto him. IS-5 should be able to finish him off. I don't know what his plan is, but obviously shooting me isn't it. And dying. Dying is in his plan as well. Okay. We're at a race, boys. Can we achieve the ultimate dream and get 90% career win rate in the Chimera or not? Ooh, nice 550 shell into them. Very good. I, you know, I've, I have not got a maximal HE on this tank. I wonder if it's like, what, is it like maybe 600? I don't know what the maximal HE would be on this tank, but it's probably around 600 plus. Oh, this is a farm fest. Guys, why couldn't I have, why could this not have been my 100th game? This is too easy. Why? Why could this not have been my 100th game? If this is my 100th game, this would have been, ch we would have been chilling, boys. We would have been mad chilling. All right, let's put an H into this dude's side. 500 into him, very good. Are you gonna yell the VK? Oh, the VK dumb messed up though. The VK tracked him. Oh, the VK's bonking him with a ram though. Feels bad to be this dude, ow. Bruh, the VK rammed him out of my reticle. Uh, or, or I just suck, one of the two, but probably the latter of the options. You got him, VK. All right. That just leaves Mr. Lova. Lova, come here. I request a meeting with you, good sir. I like how at IS-5 is just like, no, I can't push the Lova. This is really bad. I oh, oh my goodness. I took 800 there, but I did almost 400 dealt to a Lova and a Ram. That's actually impressive considering I'm a medium tank after all. I wish I, I wish I just saw the heat there, or APCR. 663 HE. Oh, the HE is actually pretty good when it max rolls. Okay, I didn't know it was that high. All right, 3200. What's our win rate, boys? Yes! Okay, it only took one game, because we just dropped it. Oh, we have achieved 90% win rate and 3000 career damage in the Chimera for 100 battles. Now, I don't know what the best stats are for, um, any player on this tank, but I'm pretty sure that's top three. Now, when we started the session today at 61 games, 2,800 average and 92%, so we dropped 2% career win rate, but we also increased our career average damage by 200 from 60 battles. That's good. I'm happy. 3Ks, 90%. Obviously balanced tank, right? Very balanced, balanced tank. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Now, we're not gonna... It's been a while since I've done... This, the, the epic replay to end the stream, but trust me, this is a fun one. And, um, what tank would it be in? But my beloved, excuse me, my beloved T95E6. Oh, I love this vehicle. I love this vehicle. As you know, and I finally got it on my main account, and I started playing it yesterday, and this was one of the, um, one of the PogChamp games I had in the E6. So let's enjoy some delightful E6 gameplay to settle things down. Congratulations! I have reached 500 plus likes on the stream as well. So good job to you boys. Obviously, we're not going to hit that very reliably. Anyways, Himmelsdorf. I've gone heavy side because I feel like I could take on the heavy tanks. And uh, uh, yeah, we're going to bonk this Object 263 through the front. I'm sure that hurt. He was like, I'm hold down. What is this nonsense? And he can't even hatch snipe me because his gun is just that inaccurate. Although I can't really hit him back reliably either. So I make the decision. I don't want to sit in front of this 263 all game. So what I decide to do instead is pull up one more one more pillar and then even another pillar because looking at the minimap, you can see the enemy team are just slaughtering the A side, right? So I decide the best play for me to be, do right here is just to push their heavies. And then I realize, oh no, the yo's pushing over. So what I do, I prevent him from pushing all the way around me. And by doing that, I can guarantee that he is stuck in a bit of a crossfire. You can see he can't pull the cover. So I'm able to keep him right here and farm him out and just wait for my allies to come support me. Unfortunately, 
Mr. I7 gets baited, but that's no worries. I'm going to focus this yo. Yoga's taken down. Very good. I was going to pull around the dune there or the pile of rubbish, but the TI2 appeared, so I decided I don't have a chance, an option, but to face this dude frontally while keeping an eye on the 263, but I also have a 50B with me. So we're chilling. We're going to sit here. We're going to farm damage and try and just avoid being shot. Now, it looks like most of the enemy team are interested in shooting our 50B, who's doing a good job supporting me here. Cheers to you, good sir. And um, yeah, that just leaves me free to take out this I-7. Now, I-7 just fired. I know there's an E-75 coming in from behind me, so I decide the play is to push the T-92 and kill the I-7. In this kind of scenario, you just have to take out one target. It's much better for me to kill a T-92 than an E-75, because I'm taking away the enemy team's mobility. So, we're just going to slaughter this food here. Now, I was going to make a big brain play, and what you'll see me, see me do here is I intentionally let the TI-2 get to my side, so he only has the option to pull out and show me his rear. That way, I'm able to HE him with my next shot. And I do, and yeah, I rolled 488, leaving him 7, seven hit points. So, the play was big brain. Uh, unfortunately, the RNG was not so much, but we are still able to pick up a kill on this TI-2 in a moment. We're going to ignore the STB here while we pick up this poor fruitish soul. And then, uh, STB, STB done messed up. And, uh, funnily enough, the STB spent the rest of that match molding in the chat about trash E6 player because, because he YOLO'd me and died. Um, that's why I had chat turned on at the start of the stream because I just wanted to see what he was saying just for the memes. Anyways, at this point, the game's looking pretty secure. So, we're chilling haul down here. The E75 isn't a huge threat. My priority right now is to wait for the 4005 to make a play. Now, I thought the 4005 would be flanking me, which is why I initially went to pull forward, but then I realized, no, wait, he's not. And the E75 already fired, so I made the decision to just straight up kill the 4005 and then pull around and we'll take care of the E75. This was a very fun game. This was a very fun a little 1v4. And that's another reason why I love the E6. And now the game's already won, so yes. Easy burr damage and uh, and uh, clutch. It was a really funny. The chat was really funny this game. I'm not gonna play it because uh, people are going crazy in chat, but that was fun. I will admit. So mm, I love my E6. This was a good game. 6,300 damage, 366,000 credits made. That's might be my second highest credit coefficient for a non-booster game or non-birthday game. Yeah. So credits, no boosters. Yeah. The highest was the 5A at 400,000 when I did AK that one stream. So, yes, E6. I've been sweating in the E6, I believe. Let's see, what am I averaging in the E6 right now? Uh, let me check. Mr. Mister E6. I have 4,200 average, 87% winner, 15 games in. So, hopefully, we can get God tier stats in it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. That's going to be it for our epic chimera stream do you agree poppy is that it for the epic chimera stream thank you so much everyone for dropping by liking the stream everyone who donated all of the big brained new members that we got on the channel i hope you guys continue spamming the stickers because as we get more members i will be adding more stickers as youtube policy so that should be fun um and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day it feels weird calling the stream off when we have 400 live viewers, but I, I suppose it is what it is. Uh, I got things to take care of for the rest of the night, and I'm quite happy with how today went. So you guys have a wonderful night, wonderful morning or whatnot. And of course, long live Queen Bobby. She's like human. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. I'm going to stop it now. So you guys take care. I'll see you later. Peace. <gasps> but we can't stop with Bobby. Oh, Bobby's being too cute. I can't stop it now. I can't stop it now, Bobby. You are such a doll. What are you doing? You're too cute. How adorable. Oh, okay. Don't flash the camera. But too much, too much epic Bobbiness. Okay. In all seriousness. Goodbye now. <laughs>